Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone's well tonight. And I'm hoping that we get into the server without too much hassle tonight. It looked like there was a massive queue, so um, fingers crossed we uh, we avoid the old um, requeuing and uh, missing the spot and stuff. And hopefully we get in sort of first time ish. I know it's coming up on the restart now for server three as well, so we're um, <clears throat> not too far off of uh, that one as well if uh, things don't work out. And I don't mind which server I go on. Just thought I'd try server two tonight for a bit of a change. I know that there's a couple of people that I usually play with who aren't um, aren't on tonight, so I thought we would uh, have a little bit of fun. Yeah, with soft instance, like maybe, maybe soft instance. Yeah, I think. So let's do a little load skin whilst we wait, because you're meant to wait a little bit just to see if it all sort of syncs up. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope um, hope everyone's well today, keeping safe and so forth. Now the load skin doesn't seem to have uh, brought Miguel's eyebrows back so maybe we'll wait to, uh, to do that when we sync up with the actual server in the session. I'm just going to have to alt tab quickly so uh, we can check the discord and see what's what there. I always like to make sure that um, we're not the guy that's instanced the whole server somehow. <laughs> uh, where are we? Uh, hmm. Looks like there is a server, but we can just wait for a little bit longer. And if we just had a... Yeah, we've had a merge. Beautiful. Alright, let's um, try loading skin again. See if that works this time.
don't actually remember where I got that from. I must have, must have done that at some point. I can't. I honestly can't remember. Actually, just need to um, alt tab quickly because my slobs is behind my um, Discord. There we go. There we go. Now I can see chat and everything as well. On oh, apologies as well, guys. Guys, if um if you follow or subscribe, I don't think you can actually subscribe to me at the moment because I'm not actually got the um got that far. If you see what I mean in in Twitch, but um yeah, apologies if you are uh, you are following me and you don't uh, you don't get any recognition for that. Hi, <laughs> Kitsune. How are you doing? Did you manage to um, get in, or are you queued up for uh, for a server? Yeah, I started using. Well, I used to have OBS um, installed as well, um, but it just. I don't know. One of the guys that I know. What the hell? Why am I? Why can't I? There we go. Hola. I don't know if she'll have heard me there, whoever that was. Popped onto server one for my delivery, but not seeing the customer even on. Oh, right. What, um, delivery? What, um, I thought you, you said it was a lawyer or something. You delivering packages? Yeah, yeah. Oh right, I didn't know you had a farm character. Sorry, my my complete ignorance. <laughs> uh, some beautiful horses over there. I really, I can't wait until there's a server that has the potential for breeding horses. That's like, that's my end game goal kind of thing. That's why we're going to have a little look over at the stables, because I want to put down a little note just to say, Miguel's around if you want to talk about the old horses and that. If you, got, if you need some fucking advice and that. I'm also trying to think, while I'm not... Um, RPing with anyone as well about um, what character I might create for Wild RP because um, it would be nice to um, go on there with someone with a bit of a background story. But at the moment, I know a lot of people are playing sort of throwaway characters, so it may be that we play someone who we maybe re revisit later, either on here or um, on Wild RP when um, when we go for that as well. But um, yeah, the uh, the character I'm thinking of playing is probably going to be a Londoner, um, probably like a bit of a geezer, like, you fucking what mate, you what, look mate, I'm not going to fuck around with you, right, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to fucking do you, I'll fucking do you mate, alright, fucking do you, you bastard, come back here you buck. Oh, it's on now, mate. You're fucking done. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, where's my lasso? Hey, 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 where do you go? Wait, what? Where's the lasso? We're no longer able to use a lasso from the horse. What's going on? What's going on there, fella? Oh, shit. <laughs> Good work this day, oh. thank you for that. Really? Really? You can't even jump over this like what? What is this? Like a half a foot? My friend, we were trying to catch you. Sometimes this day, oh, you really test my patience, you really do. I know you hurt. I'm no I know you're hurt. <laughs> super shocked by my accident. By my accident. <laughs> yeah, I'm super shocked by it as well. Um, 
my accent. Yeah, um, kind of, I suppose we would call it like a home counties accent in the UK. Um, so it's like around kind of London and that sort of area. That's where I grew up originally. And then when I was about 11, we moved over to, um, over to Bristol. They all speak like that. Around the West Country, right? Right? That's how they speak round there. A lot of farmers around there. Aye. It sounds like someone from fucking Lord of the Rings, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Catherine's no Catherine's action I think accent is pretty good, I would say. Like for the for the time period, I would say it's pretty much bang on what it should be, if you see what I mean. Because it would still have like a bit of an American twinge to it, unless she's literally straight off the boat kind of thing. Um, but yeah, accents have been like one of my things that I I've done basically my whole life. Um, I think I think that might be our buck, you know. Right, right. Fucking got you this time, you little bastard. You're mine, mate. Oh, we didn't wing it last time, but... Um... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get it. Have it. Oh, you like that, boy? You like that? Bullet to the neck, mate. Oh, you fucking... What? Just stay out, you fucking wanker. What are you doing, you fucking slag? Jesus fucking Christ, you could have killed me this day, oh. What the bloody hell are you playing at? <laughs> yeah, when... God, when I was listening to Hydra, I was thinking, Christ, I, like, if I run into them, it will be hard for me to keep um, Miguel's accent, because I mimic people, and especially when I start hearing an accent that's kind of similar, no? Oh, you bastard. I'm not even that close to him. Come back here, you fuck. But yeah, when I uh, when I hear other accents, you know, I kind of... Hey, hermano, take it over. You know, I uh, will go a little bit like that. A little bit more. Gruff kind of uh, sounding Mexicano, you know. But yeah, Miguel, he uh, kind of like from the Argentine, so he have a little bit of a different uh, kind of South American twang to it, but still like, uh, you know, kind of recognizable as a Hispanic kind of Latino accent. It's hard not to um, do that though. Like you say, if you're if you're the type of person that mimics um, accents and you're you're good at it. It's hard not to fall into it. It's funny, I'm sure like I get the sort of the ability from my mum. Um because she she grew up in well, she grew up in a couple of different places. She when she was a girl, she lived in India. And um she went to um a school there where I think where the person teaching them was American. Um but she had a bit of a she used to speak Tamil and, um, you know, a couple of the other um, Indian languages um, when she was a girl. And then um, she moved to America. And it's funny because she lived in America for a little while. And um, <laughs> whenever she gets together with our American cousins, she just, um, <laughs> after about a week or two of her being there, she's just like talking with an American twang. And it's this like one one or two times like when we went over for my cousin's wedding when I was about 15, 16. I oh, hit some deer. Maybe we'll get off in a second because it'll it'll end up frightening them otherwise. But yeah. Um. Whoa. 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 Right, there we go. Right. Let's uh. Let's be a sneaky bugger. But um. Yeah. She she starts speaking. Um. I can't honestly. I can't remember. I think it was. I'm not sure. I'd have I'll have to ask her because um, she did say a long time ago. But yeah, she doesn't 
She doesn't really like, um, or she didn't really like America there. We got, oh, dang it. Oh, maybe, maybe it's okay. Where's he gone? Where's the stereo gone? Yeah, good, good, good. Um, but yeah, I'll have to ask her, because um, I honestly, I can't remember. Playing dodge with uh, with this there. I want to like kill you humanely, but I also want the the money. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't know. I've got a feeling it was like. It might have been like Maryland or somewhere like that. I'll have to ask though. Maybe I'll um maybe I'll ask her tomorrow or something. Find out. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to equip the uh, equip the lasso as well, aren't we? Um, bang it again, again, again. We just do use then. Is that? Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah, that's that's the thing as well. I've I can do some American accents, but. I need to I need to try and refine like one that I could use in this kind of thing. Like I can do like a bit of a southern draw kind of thing like that, but it ain't really that good, you know. But yeah, I'll I'll try and work on that. But uh I can kind of do like, I can kind of do like the New York sort of gangster kind of accent, but that's mainly because of watching films like Goodfellas and things like that. Like you fucking mook, hey you fucking mook, what are you doing, you fucking mook? We rode all the way out here and then we started hunting. <laughs> like, I was I was going to go over to the stable, wasn't I? But oh well. <laughs> It's, yeah, I mean, to me, they're not, they're not that great. Because I'm kind of like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to, well, bull out of the, uh, bull out of the pen there. But yeah, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to um, accents and stuff like that. And I, I always, like, I kind of, yeah, berate myself a little bit for not being exact. Or like when I mess up. So I like I tend to refine an accent to a point where I know I can just go in and roll with it off the cuff without having to think about it. I was thinking about doing like maybe a French character um, or a character with like French heritage or something on the Wild RP server as well. I'm not sure. But yeah, I can do a few different things, but that um that's rude. <laughs> But that um, <laughs> that interview for Wild RP, um, they were asking me to do like different accents or different characters and so on um, as part of the uh, the whole thing, like saying, "Oh, um, you're a new character in town and you've you've discovered a watch on the floor." Hello there, my friend. But um. They were asking me what I would do, and I just burst into like a South African accent. <laughs> it was like the first one that came to my mind. But I love doing, um, I love doing the Australian accent as well. He used to play a character called Blake Carrington, um, who was like, um, "Yeah, mate, fucking too right." Oh yeah, fucking nice one, mate. Fucking go around and like, used to uh, hold people up in fucking Grand Theft Auto, mate. Fucking too right. Is it? Carrington. See, <laughs> that that character, someone asked me the other day, was it you actually? I can't remember. Someone asked me the other day whether it was to do with um, a character on a TV show. 
um, who is called Blake Carrington. And I don't like, I think it's from, I looked it up, it's from Dynasty or something. But no, it wasn't. Yeah, I thought it wasn't. Um, but yeah, they were asking like where the, um, oh no, no, it was in the interview because I did Blake's accent. I did Blake's accent in that as well. Because um, she asked me what my favourite accent was, and I was like, oh, I love doing the Aussie accent. I mean, I can do lots of them, but like, I, yeah, one of the first accents I really sort of settled on was Aussie. And I was doing that accent, um, God, for about. I've, I've been doing it probably since I was about 13 years old, and I'm 38, so yeah, 25 years basically of, of being. Of, of being doing of being doing that I'm good English um, <laughs> of doing Blake's accent um, so yeah I've, I've kind of I've kind of done that I used to do it in um, uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 and like before then with a, um, some of my really good friends um, who I was in like a clan with and stuff like that are you okay there my friend uh, I'm not uh, not going to hurt you Um, but yeah, Blake, Blake Carrington just kind of like, it just became a, um, became a thing. And I used to play another American character, like a, he was an over-the-top commentator, um, called, uh, Brett Hawkins. And, um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of, um, examples of that up on my YouTube if you dare to go through that hideous content. <laughs> But yeah, just um, Blake Carrington, just it kind of had an, a ring to it, and I just thought, yeah, that sounds kind of Aussie. Like, Blake is a kind of a weird Aussie sort of name. But yeah, Carrington probably isn't. Carrington's probably from, well, I don't know, but um, it just um, it just sort of had a ring to it. And then when, um, yeah, I think it was Stage, the girl that was... Um, asking me um, the questions and stuff about um, the things in the interview for Wild RP. She was asking if it was um, inspired by him and I was like, nah, I've been doing it for like 20 odd years. <laughs> if it was inspired by him, if the name like was inspired by him, it's like completely subconscious because uh, I've never, I've never watched that show even, so. The French Trappers, hmm. See, I don't really know much history. That's one of the th subjects I never really paid much attention to. But, um... Yeah, the, um... History was kind of one of those subjects that... The people who taught us at our school, like... They weren't really interested, you could kind of tell, in history themselves. It was all a bit like... Yeah. They just sort of tell you dates and stuff and ask you to remember it by rote and I used to hate that way of learning because it just for me stuff like that never stuck um stuck stuck <laughs> but um yeah it's um it's interesting learning about things like that now I kind of wish like my history teacher had been a bit more um inspirational so they definitely weren't um when I was at school. I've got quite an interest though in um, that sort of thing these days, but let's just say hello to this person here. Bonjour. Hello there, madame. How are you today? Oh, it is a fair day and a little foggy, but they are pretty good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't really see past this table there, but uh, yeah, it's a wonderful day though, like you say. Do we uh thought to the wind me? Yeah, yeah. I do uh do like that when it happened also, but um, it was quite uh quite rainy this morning actually. No, I think you were uh, the lady who gave me a person. a bath a few months ago. Well, that could be Monsieur. I do work here at the bathhouse. Yeah, yeah. How is the uh, the bathhouse doing? You uh, I haven't seen you uh, you around for a while. Well, we are open every day, monsieur. 
Every day. Right. It was so busy yesterday, I tell you. We're not open yet, but there we should be in a little bit of while. Oh, good. Well, uh, maybe I come past uh, and, uh, and get a bath later on. You know, I got uh, quite a bit of, uh, you know, blood on me right now. All right, monsieur, not a problem. Well, uh, you take care of there, miss, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, see, uh, see you later on. All right, au revoir. Buenas. Hey, madam, that's, that's really quite cruel that you say like that to me, but uh, yeah. You have a grotesque uh, look about your skirt there. <laughs> I was like having a go at the NPCs when they go like, oh. Uh, you ever look in the mirror, sir? I mean, you you look at your mustache hey, right there. Back off there a bit? I mean, you have a you have a way with words there, my friend, and now you get offended about this. I mean, you know, really, really. Take a look at yourself, my friend. Maybe you, uh, maybe you buy some new clothes, huh? Maybe. <laughs> I had an interaction with an NPC in Rhodes, which I had to highlight because it was just, it just made me fun. It just made me laugh out loud. I was like, I was talking, I think, to a blonde, um, a blonde character. Not oh, four, four, four. Um. Yeah, did you? Oh god, it was like the perfect timing as well. I was just like, wow. <laughs> evening, friend. There, Good evening to you, sir. Hello there, my friend. Good evening. Madam. But yeah, it just made me laugh. The timing of it was absolutely perfect. I was just, yeah. Now... I'm not sure, but I had a, th a feeling there might be no. Someone told me there might be. Oh, maybe there was. No. I don't know. I thought there was. Um, I thought there was a gun that had been brought in. Um, or maybe it was my friend asking if the. I thought the navy revolver had been brought in. But um, maybe not. Yeah, I do really like the NPCs in this game. Like they're much more advanced than um, the whole uh, GTA NPCs. The the GTA NPCs kind of feel like a little bit of an afterthought in some respects. Dude, that guy is short. Is it me just being tall, or he no, seemed he real didn't. short? Not to my <laughs> that horse nearly murdered me. Is it me, Monsieur, or did it get dark very quickly? Ah, uh, yeah, no, the uh, the sun uh, disappeared very fast. I think because of uh, the the fog, like you were uh, saying earlier. Yeah, that's making sense, Monsieur. But uh, yeah, beautiful, uh, beautiful moon up there right now. It's very long. You said travels, Monsieur, and I see you later for a bath. Yeah, yeah. What uh, what is your name, uh, Miss? It is Fifi, Monsieur. Fifi. Ah, lovely, beautiful name like that. My name is uh, Miguel. Miguel Sanchez. But of course, Monsieur Miguel. Well, you take care uh, out there, Fifi, and uh, maybe I'll see you later for uh, that bath. Au revoir, right, monsieur. Buenas. Au revoir again. Well, maybe we'll go and have a little see if there's any, um, if there's any stew in the pot. So to speak, or they? No, it's still there. Thought maybe that they'd taken that away. It's like one of my favourite things to do, to sort of mingle around town with a bit of a uh, bit of stew, or just stand on the edge of town. Yeah, I think we've got a. Uh... Yeah, there we go. 
Nice bit of stew, mate. Oh, look at that. Lovely. I'm still yet to see a hanging, actually, as well. I'd quite like to, um, to see someone... Well, that sounds really morbid. <laughs> I'd quite like to see that, to be honest. Oh, I think I've missed someone following. Squalify, thank you for the follow. Um, that's don't know if that says an hour ago, but I know it's a bit iffy with um, Twitch and stuff at the moment. But yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for following. A couple of people follow me as well whilst I've been offline, which is kind of nice. So yeah, if you guys are there, Reziac, Freak Sticks, and Fuyo Couch, and GT Matt, um, thank you for the follows, guys. And um, yeah, if uh, if you're there in the audience tonight, mate, well, thank you very much for being there. <laughs> See, Miguel's like, he's not the person... Right, so he's not an out and out bandito or anything like that but he's he's like a man of principle so he kind of he works by like the the rule of like omerta which is like a mafiosi um kind of way of thinking which is basically saying if you can't take care of yourself without the law then you can't think of yourself as an adult or a man um because a real man would solve his problems without needing to resort to going to the law um, so he takes, he would take things into his own hands, kind of, if, if he got into a situation like that, where he was, he got robbed and he knew who it was or whatever, and they left him, you know, intact kind of thing. Um, he, he has killed someone, but not in, not in New Alexandria. Um, so it was in Mexico and basically it was the person that owned the hat that he's wearing. That's the reason he wears a sombrero. Um, it's the family heirloom of this particular guy who... Um, I still need to give the guy a bit of a backstory and a name and everything like that. Um, so I'm kind of thinking of it all sort of on the fly when I when I talk about it. Um, but yeah, this basically this guy and Miguel... Um, Miguel was sort of taken in by him when he was in Mexico and he realised that he couldn't sort of cross the river without... You know getting prepared and everything so he had to spend some time in mexico um because he'd lost all of his cattle and um he was only on trueno his um his other horse which he had to sort of leave in mexico when he he crossed the river um but yeah basically he um he met this guy and one thing sort of led to another this guy took him under his wing and they he miguel sort of thought this guy's you know He's a straight up guy and he's you know helping me out and he's he seems like a good man this guy then double crossed um miguel on a bit of a um job they were trying to do he was basically in with the gang um of banditos that miguel was um trying to hunt down for one reason or another um maybe because they killed you know one of his last you know cattle and you know or, to, or drove him off of his um his his own cattle if you see what i mean we'll, we'll sort of make it up as we go along but anyway, yeah. So he um, he caught up with this guy, and um, this is his hat. Um, and the moment before he um, and they basically they sort of think in the same way. So like they both believed if you need to get law or um, other people involved to sort of help you out, then you're kind of not really a you're not really a man in their eye, um, or you're you're not really able to deal with life or the situations that life throws at you on your own. And you kind of have to have other people to help you, which isn't a bad thing. Um, and Miguel does appreciate other people's help, but at the same time, he feels that he could stand on his own two feet if needed. Um, and he's not the sort of person you want to fuck with either. Um, but yeah, he killed the guy. Um, and with the guy's sort of last dying breaths, he asked or begged Miguel to hold on to this family heirloom because basically this guy's family had died as well. And um, so Miguel took the hat um, and wears it as kind of like a mark of pride and um, 
a mark of what he's done and a reminder to what he's capable of. Um, so whenever he loses the hat, he gets quite he gets quite angry. <laughs> um, there was one actually. Um, there was a moment when we went over to Saint Denis with um, Sir Pink's character, uh, Mickey, and um, Sean King's character, um, Choppins. Oh, there's a snake somewhere. I think. Um, yeah, I can hear it in the bush there. Um, but yeah, we went over to Saint Denis, and um, he, Mickey, was trying to jump onto a ship um, that was behind Miguel. He was stood by the end, um, the edge of the dock. And um, Mickey ran at Miguel and like do dove into the water, taking Miguel with him. And Miguel's hat went in the water. Um, and he was like, "You better go and get that hat." And Mickey was like, "Oh, it's fine, you know." Go. And it, like he was like, "No, you better go and get that hat." And um, he's like, "Okay." So he, he <laughs> Mickey climbed down into the um, into the water and like came back up, um, you know, pretending that he had his hat on. Um, and was like, um, yeah, there you go. And he was like, yeah, um, you know, this hat means a lot to me kind of thing. And then like, at that point I was thinking, yeah, we've got to give it a reason, like a, give it a, a good story behind it. Um, so yeah, he, he was like, you need to, you need to always be respectful of other people's things. Um, and it's, it's kind of the same. There was an incident with Sean's character, Shanky, the Scottish guy. Um, and he was like, um, he tried to take uh, an alligator skin that Rogers Fields, um, Nick Saltios' character, had given him, um, had given to Miguel, um, and he tried to sort of run off with it. And he was being playful, but he would have run off with it if Miguel had kind of let him. Um, so I sort of ran after him and was like, "Yeah, dude, you did, you're like basically laying down the law again, sort of as you know the sort of." The more principled side of Miguel, um, like he's kind of easygoing and he's nice to sort of get on with, um, but he will he will get to a point with people where if they're starting to take the piss, he'll lay down the law with them. Um, but yeah, he um, he basically uh, took um, took exception to Shanky trying to um, steal the alligator skin, um, and then um, he tried to take take off under Steo as well and so Miguel got on the back of the horse and was like yeah Shanky you're not going to ride away with me um, with this Deo and, uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> taking the piss um but yeah he was like yeah you're not going to get away with this Deo because he'll just throw you off eventually like this Deo won't have another rider on him for too long um so um he uh, he only this Deo will only trust um Miguel in that sense but yeah it was like yeah don't don't mess around like it was just kind of letting other people know in that sense that Miguel's no sort of pushover and that he's not he's not about to like back down from things um obviously if he's outnumbered and so on and you know he's going to value his life he's not going to just be like oh fuck it I'll go down all guns blazing sort of style he would he'll be the sort of person that will gather some information on who who is robbing him or you know whatever and then be like okay now, as soon as I recognise that person's voice or whatever, I will be straight on them and the shotgun will come out and it will be like, a, you need to come around the back with me, buddy, and we'll have a little chat. Or more like, hey, amigo, uh, I think I, I think I recognise your accent there. I think maybe you, uh, you, you need to come outside with me and uh, we talk about something that you, uh, you may or may not have done. And if you don't have the right answers for uh, the questions I'm going to ask you, then uh, I think maybe you uh, need to consider yourself very lucky if I don't kill you, right? Maybe I just make an example of you. Show the people out here that uh, you don't fuck with Miguel Sanchez, right? But yeah, I mean slang yeah it's hard um because i kind of i use the word like quite a lot with miguel um but i kind of i feel like it's um something that someone who wouldn't know the sort of english language all that well um might use as kind of a filler um where he's trying to think of the word and he's like oh he's like uh oh how you say um 
it's kind of like this, but uh, I don't know exactly how you say in the uh, in the English like that. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of a universal filler, but obviously in these sorts of days it wouldn't have been used that much in that in that respect. But yeah, it's, um, I need to try and get get it out of my system if you see what I mean, as well as a as a person playing characters and doing roleplay and stuff like that. Yeah, I do um, I do love languages and that kind of thing. I, when I was at school I wanted to do um, German, English language and French for my sort of... it would be like high school kind of subjects I suppose. Well, um, I don't know what you would call it in America actually, what, um, what it would equate to in like the, the school system there, but it would be when you're about sort of 16 to 18. Um, we have like, you have GCSEs, which you take when you're about, or you take them when you're like 15, um, 16, and then you're like 16 to 18, you're doing your A-levels or, um, it's all changed now, but like, yeah, that's how, that's how it was when I was a, when I was a, when I was a nipper. When I would knee high to a grasshopper. That's how it were done. But uh, yeah, it's um, it's all confusing with different school systems and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have a little check as well in the stables here just to see if they've got any new horses. Because I'm hoping that um, maybe one day they'll introduce the Norfolk Roadster as well, which is another really nice horse that I like. Yeah, but they basically the the teachers that I had were saying like, oh yeah, you can't do German and French together because of they they clash on the timetabling, and then I was like, okay, well I'll do German and English language, and they were like, oh well you can't do German and English language if you want to do this other subject. But I was I wanted to do drama, so I was like, okay, well I'll do English language drama and communication studies. So, um, yeah, I didn't, I only got to do like one of the subjects that I actually really wanted to do. Um, oh, why is, ah, uh, that's probably messed things up. Oh, there is no, that's the other one that I wanted, like that Missouri, that Missouri Foxtrot is beautiful. Hmm. I still want to know where you change the main. Because I saw that guy with the gold, um, sorry, um, damn, you got some advanced lessons. Is that public school? Um, yeah, um, it's what we call a comprehensive school. Um, but yeah, it's just like anyone can go to it kind of thing. Um, so it's not like a private prep school or anything like that. Although I did go to one of them when I was a kid, um, but I really hated it. Um, also, we couldn't really afford it. My parents sent me there and my sister there um, to try and give us like the best education that they could, but it was a bit like, well, it's too expensive. Like it must have been costing them like thousands or whatever per like term and stuff. And it was, yeah. My sister, I think enjoyed it, um, but I think in, in general, we were both happier at the other school that we ended up going to later on. Um, but yeah, then we both, we moved when I was about 10 or 11 years old. And then the school that I went to there, like, didn't really get on with the kids and stuff there, to be fair. Um, or, you know, they kind of wouldn't accept me because um, they all had tight knit groups of friends already. So it was a bit like, oh, shit. But um, yeah, this is the, the stable that we were going to potentially put our name to. I don't, I kind of don't want to be that guy that like leaves a note to say, this is my stable, keep out, I do business from here. Ugh. But at the same time, I, I want kind of, I want people to know like, yeah, if you ever need to get hold of Miguel, like he, he's the guy that knows a bit about horses and yeah. Really all of like the horsey knowledge and stuff that I know is comes from my, um, my sister, 
she lives in Spain now, but um, she spent a year and a bit in um, America uh, training with, I think his name's Pat Pirelli. Um, but yeah, basically he's um, like a world-renowned horse whisperer and trainer um, and teaches the obviously like Western style, but also like um, basically how to sort of break horses and manage horses and stuff like that in a really kind of humane way. Um, but yeah, she now she lives in Spain now, um, and she works at a um, at a rescue centre for horses and um, donkeys that have been mistreated or you know kind of left you know left to die basically by um, some unscrupulous bastards. But yeah, um, Miguel is uh, a little bit like um, a cross between my sister's knowledge and my sort of knowledge in that sense. So. He likes um, Baquero um, saddles and that kind of stuff because it's like a Spanish kind of style. And um, yeah, my sister was telling me all sorts of history about Baquero um, saddlery and you know the stirrups and that kind of stuff. Like the reason that they've got like that boot kind of you see on um, Desteo's saddle, they've got like a boot um, that covers over the um, over the stirrup. Um, it's to stop branches going through the stirrup hole. Um, so when you're riding along and going through um, bushes or going through sort of undergrowth where there's low cut trees with branches sticking out, they um, your feet don't get caught and you don't get launched off the horse and, and end up injuring the horse and yourself really badly or, you know, worse, like the horse has to get put down or, or you die because the horse lands on top of you. Ain't good. <laughs> But um, yeah, she's um, she's really knowledgeable about that kind of stuff. Um, so how do we do notes? Because I know I've got a notepad. I just want to say, Miguel's in town. If any of you want to come and have a little chat, uh, yes, we do. Use. Oh yeah, we do. Right. Uh, right, what do we want to write? Uh, Miguel. Oh. Why is that? Why doesn't that look capitalized? Oh well, Valentine. Uh, that's it, basically. Thieves land and thieves landing, we should say. Thieves Landing.
seems alright. Gail Sanchez is an Argentine gaucho who operates out of this stable and can be found in Rhodes, Valentine, Blackwater and Thieves Landing. I can help you with any equestrian needs including horse breeding, recommendations on horse breeds suitable for you and general advice on saddlery. Please seek me out either here or in the aforementioned places. I'm not hard to find and will be happy to assist you with all your needs. Miguel Sanchez Is that gonna... Eh? Eh? Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> Miguel was here. It was a bit of an essay, but... Yeah, kind of want to <laughs> tell him what they can expect from Miguel. And you can't really miss him going around with a gold sombrero and a yellow poncho. He's kind of easy to spot whenever he's in town. <laughs> Didn't want to tell him, tell everyone what I look like though, just so that uh, any banditos might, uh, you know, come after me and uh, try to. Uh... Actually, let's go down to Rhodes. Um, any banditos might come down to me and uh, try to rob me for uh, everything I have right there. But yeah, Miguel, um, ticky when he's alone, but he has now started taking to um, doing it when he's in groups as well, like rides with a, a weapon out because he is aware of the bandits and so forth around Valentine and all that kind of caper. Oh, I've dropped frames in the last two minutes, apparently. Oh, well. Ah, well, can't be helped, Sam. Hope it's not, um... Hope the stream hasn't died or anything like that, but... Good, good. Yeah, I, going back to what you're saying there about people kicking people out of spaces, I don't understand why people can't just operate together. Like, if you both use that building or whatever, then like, why not just, you know, amalgamate your knowledge with each other and, you know, share share the business kind of thing. I don't get why people have to be like, oh, it's mine. I operate this saloon. You can't come in here. It's mine. I'm the barman here. Both be the fucking barman. <laughs> you know, whoever you serve, you get the money for, and whoever they serve, they get the money for. It, it's just... Like, come on, man. <laughs> you don't have to claim entire fucking buildings or, you know, things to yourself. It seems a bit, like, yeah, petty. I know that people all want to have their own space, and maybe there'll be a server one day where you can have a, you know, a whole um, ranch or, you know, thing to yourself or maybe even we can make our own buildings and stuff so that when we join a server like that particular building will get placed in that part of the land and, and stuff like that and then people can come and come and find you and seek you out for you know help with whatever um but yeah it would um it would make sense to like for people to be a little bit less sort of possessive over stuff I mean, at the end of the day as a oh you're gonna go down? You're gonna go down? You're gonna go down? You're running towards town now. Yeah, you bastard. Yeah, exactly. Just have fun with it. Like, I don't understand why people have to get all sort of shirty about, you know, this is my area or whatever. Like, I just, I like going all over the map and stuff because. You, you end up running into all sorts of different people. People that you wouldn't run into necessarily if you just stay in one location or like you always go to a certain bar and this is my spot and stuff. Like, yeah, it's it's good that people know where to find you and that you're going to be there for roleplay and stuff like that. But at the same time, it doesn't have to be like a competition or this is my general store or this is my gun store or, you know this is my little hotel you can't come in here that's not my, that's not right um just make the most of it and like use it as you know use it as a chance to rp with someone about like doing a business deal say okay well maybe you can use it like today and tomorrow and then the day after that i'll use it for two days and you know 
whatever we kind of share the, the share the whole thing if you really don't like the other person or whatever or you don't like their character or their character doesn't like you then say okay fine yeah you know we'll just share it sort of thing but it'll get to a point where the server is you know so full that people will just be like going well this is mine and that's mine and that's mine but at the end of the day like this the you know the owners of the server have said you know no one owns a specific building you own businesses and that kind of thing and you know you have to get business licenses and that sort of thing hello there my friend how do you do sir no oh, how do you do my friend this reminds me of the other night when I came in here and morning, there was two sir. there was two people stood by the bar um, stood by the bar stood by the piano and they had exactly the same uh, same voice and they kept saying the same line and they said like well that's the word uh, or what's, what was the line uh, well that's the word in town or yeah, about town do. and um, <laughs> Miguel was going up to them going like what is the word about town what 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 word what are you talking about? And everyone's like, "Well, that's the word about town." He's like, "What word? You you just say this. He just say this. What word? Hello. Please tell me exactly what you're talking about. I'd like to know what is the word around town." And then someone else, like one of the other NPCs, and he'd go over to him like, "What? Just oh. tell me, my friend. Tell me what the word is around town. I'm getting really tired of this." Hello there, my friend. Uh, how are you today? I'm sorry, I just walking on the board there. I didn't mean to uh, make it dirty. I know I've got blood on me, but uh, you know. But yeah, I loved. Uh, that's what I love doing with Blake as well. When I was in GTA, like people, <clears throat> he was a he was a psycho basically, though. Um, not like full fully fledged, like going around just murdering people. Um, but yeah, he had like a psychotic streak to him and he was very quick to anger. So he kind of had like, we <laughs> had this thing about, um, <laughs> uh, not like, <laughs> no, oh no, nothing like that. Um, <laughs> but he had, um, had this tendency if like, um, someone scraped the side of his car or, um, caused him to get into an accident or you know that kind of thing and he'd get out and like run over to their car like we'd be in the middle of doing something like on a drug run or something like that and he'd get oh he, I'd, I'd go over to them drag them out of their car and beat the shit out of them and then go like that's fucking that's your fucking fault mate don't fucking you dare fucking apply to your insurance company mate i'll fucking kill you all right don't fucking think about it and he just literally he just throw like a fit at anyone that sort of messed with his shit. There's a clip um, I found a little while ago, which I might have to I might have to paste it or something in chat um, for you because I maybe I'll maybe I'll send it to you afterwards. But like it was it's a clip of um, me and um, Doobie Rans, um, who's another like he's a good friend of mine, like RP um, wise. We've been we've known each other for about six or seven years on and off. Um, and RP together for, for quite a lot of that time um, on various different games. Um, but yeah, his his character Cohen and Blake um, ended up robbing AD's home, um, who was playing like a Scottish character. And he, um, this character AD was playing, had like offended Blake. Basically, all he'd said to him, um, because when we first met him. He was being like over the top and saying like oh, how much money he's got and all this kind of stuff and how rich he is. And at the time, Blake and Cohen needed money to establish their private eye business. Like on the server that we were on, you needed, I think it was 20,000. And we would like, we had 15 grand between us, but we needed another five grand. And when you start in the server, you were given five grand. <laughs> and we met AD's character. We knew AD before from um, the Red Zone. Um, when we used to play um, on uh, the Red Zone on Daisy um, Jam's server, and um, when we met him, his character was like really offensive to both of us. And the the straw that broke the camel's back for Blake and the deciding factor on whether they were going to rob him or not was the fact that 
he um basically he uh made a comment about the car that we had because we bought a, a voodoo like and it's just a two-seater like really s scrappy crappy car but the voodoo you could customize it at the um at the benny's garage and it um it looked really good once yeah but it was so nice though when it when it had been customized with like the decals and everything there it was so nice but it was basically Blake called it his project car, and the the whole time that we were on every server, he like we always bought that as the first car because it was just to get the two of us like from A to B. Um, and all the time in the back of my mind, I was like, I'm gonna get myself the Shafter, um, because that was the kind of like um gangstery type looking car that we thought would go well. And it was also it's quite a it's quite a meaty car. It would like it would go some if we really needed it to in like um, car chases or whatever. Um, but yeah. So anyway, getting off topic there. But yeah, um, <laughs> AD's character said um, about the voodoo. Um, he's like, oh, it's only got two seats. That shite. Like in a, in this like really annoying Scottish voice that he was using, and it was like. For, for Blake, that was like red rag to a bull. He was like, fuck this guy. Doobie, um, as Cohen, sent um, sent Blake a, a text message basically saying we should rob this guy for all that he's got. And um, so like we were like, I was like, yes, I'm in. Like, let's get this guy. He's just fucked me off by saying like that about the car. So like we said, okay, well, we'll go and get this four-seater car and um, we'll... Uh, you know, we'll take you over to the. Um, we'll we'll you know show you what we're thinking about in terms of a business proposal and stuff like that. So we took him to this little store where it had like a little back room, and um, we um we were just talking to him about like you know the business and everything like that, and because he'd been going on about how rich he was, um, like it got to a point where um. We were sick of him talking shite about the two of us, so um, we just both pulled our guns at the same time, and we're like, Cohen was like, oh, what was I saying? And he's like, oh yeah, that's right. Pulls his gun out, and then he's like, you uh, you said you got some money. And he's like, oh shit. <laughs> but AD out of character was like, oh, this is so fucking funny. Because he, he knew what, what he was provoking as well. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure he knew exactly what kind of characters we were playing at the time. Yeah, exactly. It was at that moment he knew he fucked up. <laughs> but it was like one of the best. I'll, I'll need to find it and like I'll send it to you or something so you can have a watch of it. But um, yeah, it was so funny the way we sort of carried on with it. Um, but yeah, our, at the end of it, we like we made him embarrass himself. But I won't ruin it because it's yeah, it was one of those it was one of those like organic moments where we just thought like, well, we're going to take him for everything that he's got. Um, but yeah, <laughs> was um was good, a good little bit of RP, and one of the one of the most fun robberies I think I've ever done in um in a roleplay setting. If you see what I mean, like obviously we've, we've done stuff like that previously on um, Daisy and just like rolling around and like yeah yeah mate put your fucking hands up and stuff like that. But um yeah hadn't um hadn't robbed anyone in uh, GTA RP up to that point. But it was just like the perfect moment because he just he just presented it to us and we were like oh okay you want to you want to get robbed okay that's fine <laughs> so yeah we basically took him for all of his starting money and set up our business shortly afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I found I found the clip of it the other day because um, I was watching Doobie's stream and um, I was like oh yeah. Do you remember the time when we held up Adi and he was like, oh yeah, that was that was funny. And I was like, that, that clip is still circulating. So we all had a little watch of it whilst we were waiting for the servers to restart one night. Is yeah, I mean, I think to a certain extent now, it kind of seems a bit more like on certain servers, it seems to be a bit like the old GTA parking lot RP. Um, where you just you see a lot of people all gathered around certain areas of the map and they're all doing the same thing having the same kind of conversations over and over and they're not really doing anything apart from just like 
sometimes the occasional bit of cop baiting or going to like do some drug deals and stuff like that um just to earn money and grind stuff but daisy in the early days like especially on the red zone we had some seriously deep stories like to the point where um bongo actually was a character i think he was played by ad the guy that i was just telling you we <laughs> we held up in gta rp like later on down the line um and he was like a really lovable little character that um, was part of the sort of Novo um, crew that we'd, you know, we'd all established. That was where I met, met Pink and um, Disby, um, Sean, Booby, um, the Barracuda even as well. Like another good, like really top RP as well. Um, he used to play a South African character on there. Um Chansu as well um but yeah all of these really great rps who i've you know stuck with and like we've we've all sort of carried on role playing with each other because we just enjoy each other's rp and enjoy each other's company it all came from the red zone and i swear like that server is like responsible for so many good role players and getting you know people together and stuff like there's people that i wish i'd had chances to role play with them like gamer dad um I think I role played a little bit with Grim Titan and a couple of other people as well from the sort of Russian side. Um, but yeah, I just loved the people that were on those servers. Oh, the bison. Now, see, Miguel doesn't he doesn't kill bison because he respects the natives. Um, and every native that he's ever spoken to has basically said, yeah, you don't fuck around with killing um, killing the bison and stuff. So. He's kind of gone to that stage of like, well, I'll, I'll respect them because they respect me. They've like, they've none of them have ever sort of put him to the sword or whatever in whatever way you want to put it. Um, because he's he is generally respectful of other people. Um, until like I say, until you push him to a point where you've like you cross the line with him, and then he becomes a bit more like, uh, hang on a sec, mate, you need to you need to slow your roll here. Either either that or you're going to end up like finding out what. Miguel is really capable of. I thought that was a rock. <laughs> it's a fucking bison. <laughs> that shit me up for a second. Tecumseh was kicked out because he was being too hostile and another tribe was made. Oh, really? Who Who is it that plays Tecumseh? Because um, I don't think I ever... I don't think I ever met him. But the guys that I've met, like a Takoda, um, Little Bison... And, oh, I can't remember. There's a female character as well. I can't remember her name. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't understand why people have a problem with the, um, the natural sort of aggression. Yeah. But, I mean, that's the thing. Like, he plays it well, and they... I think a lot of the natives do it the same way like unless you've really pissed them off or you've got the like the carcass or the the skin of a bison on the back of your horse like unless you've really fucked with them they generally are pretty respectful and they would tell you like these are our lands kind of thing and these you know the people have come into our land and they've basically raped and pillaged everything that we have and now this is all we've got so you respect the fact that that's what they have left now so you don't generally go there and shit on it um so like when miguel ran into little bison we we ran into them down in the in the bit by um big valley um and um we we were shooting around in like the in the ranch there i at that point i didn't even know that that was like the area that they were they were using um, but we went to that big ranch and we were like shooting some of the fruit and like the rotting vegetables and stuff that were there. Um, but yeah, they they were obviously they weren't happy about the fact like that we were there and making a bit of a mess and everything like that. But we were still sort of saying, yeah, you know, just keep a distance and be respectful and everything. So Miguel, every time he's spoken to um, people about the natives, he's always kind of like, well, I've never had a problem with them. Um, sorry, uh, I personally have a problem with the native hostile RP because it was too territorial drug related. It felt like a gang. 
I'm part Native American, so it was getting a bit stereotypical savage like. Yeah, I think when. I think the problem is when everyone decides to start doing the same kind of thing, that's when it gets to a point where everyone's like, I'm going to make a native character, and because everyone on the server is kind of protecting their land, I'm going to be like that as well. And like you say, then it starts becoming like you're stereotyping all native people as if that's how they are. And obviously that's not not the case, you know. And it very much depended on... Um, I mean, I don't know an awful lot about it, but I know that it very much depended on particularly which tribe... Um, you're with. So I know the Apache and Comanche um, were a bit more um, aggressive, particularly when you know the lands were being invaded and so forth. But this is now quite a long time after, obviously, all of that. So it's not like it's not necessarily true to it's not necessarily true to history Hello, that sir. people would act that way. If you see what I mean. Hello there. But yeah, I know what you mean. It's um it's difficult to play characters that you're perhaps not you don't really know about, if you see what I mean. You you don't know the history of in that sense. That's why if I was to play a native character, I would want to do a serious amount of research before I started going down that route because I don't want to be that guy that's like you know you are invading our lands. You are disrespecting everything we do. Like, I don't want to, yeah, you know, be that guy that's like, oh, pale face coming to our land. Howdy. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. I, was, I heard a few people doing that kind of stuff, and it was a bit like, come on, man, you know, like, that's not everything that they do, right? You know, like, they're, they're very respectful, and they care about the, you know, they care about the, the earth and the the world in general not just like yeah keep out and stuff like that and obviously like i said by this point it's not so much yeah no exactly yeah hearing natives say this is our land native americans don't believe in that i'm not sure if anyone who plays a native is actually familiar with native americans there is um someone i think called i think it's doctor redacted on twitch um but yeah, he's um, he is Native um, American, and he was he was telling me, um, yeah, DVG is really being true to the Native style without being stereotypical or savage about it. Is DVG um, the person that I just mentioned? Sorry, that voice guy. No, so it's it's a different person, but. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, so long as you do your research and everything, um, I think you a anyone would, should be able to do like their own, you know, kind of role play and so and so forth with that. Um, but you need to like you need to be informed. Otherwise, you're going to get caught out by people as well who are informed. Like, I'm waiting for the day that someone um, you know picks me up on the fact that I don't know Spanish and that kind of thing fully. Like, I know small amounts of Spanish. Um, but there'll be someone who'll come in and be like, Como esta? Oh, shit. We just crash. Really? I think we just crashed, yo. Oh, no. Yeah. Full crash. Uh... Redem is not responding. Close the program. Ah. No, I don't need you to report nothing. Right. <laughs> Restart. <laughs> Get Red M back up. This is where this is where we lose our spot in the server, and I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> Wait, shit, was I on I was on server two, wasn't I? I was on server two. Um, FA that's forty. I had one. I had sixty in there because I was thinking if I didn't get in on um on what's some jobby. Yeah, I think we're getting back in. Good. I don't know where we'll have got kicked out there and then.
I had to clear cash and everything before I play every, every time now. Yeah, I've not really had that many crashes, actually, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's like the reason we don't want African-American slaves, savage natives is very similar to that. It's rude as fuck. I totally agree. And I don't want to be like when when I saw someone had posted um, a thing in um, Discord, basically advising people on how to approach playing an African-American of that eight, like that era. If you're not African-American and you, you don't know the history or you might be African-American and you don't know the history and then you think everything that they say is, yeah, um, you know, Misser and all that, uh, you know, the kind of typical, stereotypical racist kind of slang, and you know, it it just ain't. That ain't it, you know. Was that the whole server? That looked to me, shit. I think we're instanced, boys. Don't know. I might have to alt tab and see what's going on because that. That seems like a... Uh... Oh, right. So... So there is... There is a lobby. Apparently it has... Apparently it's, it, the server was having an absolute fit, so they restarted it, um, but he couldn't announce it. Let me swap back to slob so that I can see that. There we go. You'd never been accepted by your own tribe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how everything is really in that sense like i say i've i've not really done any kind of research in in native american um culture in that sense but um i'd like to know more about it but yeah it's um it's something like you say you, you just you just don't want to you don't want to offend people you don't want to stereotype people by being that guy that goes like yeah you know as we just said like doing all of those little Stereotypical shitty sort of things. Uh, we've had a merge. Oh wait, 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 wait. Got I got no fucking eyebrows. My fucking eyebrows are gone. Gonna have to just nip in here quickly and like do a quick little uh, reload of the skin. Yeah, the Indians keep very much to themselves so others don't know much about them. I was reading something actually on Twitter that was like, it was desperately sad because um, uh, Navajo Nation or something has got a really bad um, problem with the um, the COVID-19 um, COVID um, and it's killed a lot of people apparently, um, you know, in a very short space of time. Um, and it's basically because of the history of America where they've, you know, those people have been fucked over for want of a better way of putting it. There is no sort of better way of putting it, really. That is kind of how it happened. And, you know, unfortunately, the English and um, people that, you know, came over to America and so forth to colonize the place were responsible for it. And I fucking hell, man, like. I can't stand the racism in this country and um the one eighth mohican oh right wow that's amazing the stockbridge massachusetts area is that ma massachusetts am i is that right um but our reservation is in wisconsin and shared with another tribe wisconsin i think my one of my cousins lived in Wisconsin for a little while. Um, yeah, see, I do know some abbreviations about America. I'm not, I'm not totally clueless. Maybe it was Massachusetts. Oh, I've got to ask my mum where she, where she stayed in, um, 
where she stayed in America when she was there. Um, but, um, oh, let's not get knocked over. But yeah, it is, um, it is like tragic how the country that I live in, basically, the history of our country is like fucking empire this and just fucking things over, going to other places, like, one thing that I can't stand at the moment is the people who go on about Churchill, um, like Winston Churchill, as if he was like some sort of fucking saint, um, and that he's, you know, he was a he was a really good man and he wasn't racist in any way. Like, he was also responsible for the fucking atrocities in India and starved like four million people to death. So yeah, he wasn't really a nice guy. But everyone's like, oh, well, if it weren't for him, we'd all be speaking German and all that. Which, again, isn't true. Because if you know anything about your history and stuff like that, then you'd know, actually, um, the Russians pretty much had the war on the turn by the point where um, England and, you know, Britain and um, America even as well got involved towards the end. Like, we really only sort of got involved because Churchill, I think, felt like if um, if anyone was going to rule the world, it would be Britain. Um, and he didn't want to be under German rule, if you see what I mean. He would, he would prefer to be under um, our own rule. But the funny thing is, like, uh, the monarchy that we have in our country is German, if you go back. So we were under German rule already. And Hitler actually wanted to be um, allied with us in the beginning, and um, yeah, could have got, things could have gone so differently. But um, I, th I still think like it's disingenuous to say that like essentially um, Britain or America won the war. Um, like it was a culmination of a lot of factors, but Russia really did the fucking heavy lifting in there. So yeah, people that say to me like, oh. You know, if it weren't for Churchill, we'd be speaking German. They can fucking do one. They can go and do some research and understand, actually, that that's not the case. Yeah, Columbus Day. Yeah. There's so many fucked up things around the world, isn't there? It's just like, you know, you know. I don't know where I'm wandering off to. I'm kind of going... I was thinking, because I, I bought this gold pan the other day, and I know the gold panning area was down here somewhere. Um... But I don't know if it's all moved or what. But yeah, it's um, it's crazy how like, you no, know, how racist the world is still, and like, there's so, there's so many things that need to be changed. But yeah, I don't know. I hope it's in our lifetimes that we get to see like serious change. Because I'm sick of people treating others differently because. They perceive there's a difference between them and some someone else because of the colour of their skin or the religion that they follow or whatever. It's like, my outlook ever since I was a child has always been treat people as you hope to be treated yourself. So I will treat people with respect and, you know, be nice to everyone. Um, you know, unless, unless you're given some kind of reason not to, in which case then, like, you might be justified, but you, you still don't judge the same still don't judge everyone from that particular culture or whatever with that one you know that one idea of yeah because this one person from this culture is like this that means everyone's like that so i've got to be racist to all of those people because i just i just i don't like those people now like it's just fucking small-minded bullshit and a lot of a lot of racists kind of use that as an excuse. It's funny, I've, my parents have actually still got a book. Um, like when I was a kid um, and went to like the play, play school, so like three, between the ages of like three and f five, basically. Um, and I was really good friends um, with a kid there who, um, he was black and um neither of us saw color like that we just knew we liked each other as friends and 
everything else and like I've kept I've kept that book and everything and it really like that means a lot to me um and I've always kind of been on that like tip of yeah like I said I, I won't treat someone with disdain or whatever um unless they gave you a reason to do so um because you know I wouldn't want to be treated that way and I'm sure like no one else wants to be treated that way so it's like it it angers me when like I find friends or whatever that are, you know, racist and stuff, and, like, I have to pull them up on stuff like that. And it just it fucking really pisses me off. <laughs> like, I've had a few fallouts with people recently where I've, like, I've had to say to people, like, mate, you're being fucking outrageous with what you just said there. Like, you sh honestly, you need to fucking tone it back. That's fucking racist. And they're like, what do you mean? Like, fucking... Well, if you need me to explain it to you, mate, I don't know. Like... I'm not sure that you're all there, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I like I say, I've just always been a big believer of you. Just treat everyone how you want to be treated. You should get on in life, okay? Is it? See, I'm trying to find the gold pan in place, but I don't think it's. Um, I don't know if it's been moved or something. I know there was a, like a little wooden structure. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to move on from like the whole race talk and all that kind of stuff because it is like at the moment obviously it's you know it's a big thing and I don't want anyone feeling upset or yeah. But yeah, I do I do fully believe in what's going on around the world like people you know, there's genuine reason for it and I like I'm fully behind it. The world needs to change. I've always said this actually. Um, if um, if there are aliens or like extraterrestrial races or anything like that out there um, that are watching us, they've not come to our planet because they already realise what a bunch of cunts we all are, and they they realise that we're not at that point where we're just going to get on with everything. So like they probably wouldn't want to come to our our planet anyway because it's you know. It's so fucked up right now. But yeah, one day. One day. Not one day that the aliens will come down, by the way. One day that hopefully everyone, humanity, will, like, put aside our differences, realise we all come from, like, the Rift Valley in Ethiopia and fuck it. You know? <laughs> Ooh, is that... It is an elk. Ah, oh, fuck. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Get off your horse, Miguel. Of course, no. Mm, right. I think he's already run off, so this almost is entirely pointless. Um, but yeah, we do this. Yeah, no worries. Shame um, you couldn't get on, or um, I don't know if you were just chilling or whatever. But yeah, thanks. Um, thanks for hanging about and giving me someone to talk to and some stuff to talk about as well. Because I can talk for England, but it's um, that's a beautiful. Uh... See the universe. Think about it. We're so fucking small, fucking tiny, mate. But yeah, insignificant. <laughs> Yeah, you um, you have a good night and um, take care. And yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully catch up with you in the next day or two. Maybe see you on the server. Oh, uh, did we hit it? Yeah, we got him. <laughs> yeah, take that. Take care. Night, night. I don't know if we're getting a bit too far north here. Well, it's, we're going east anyway, so I was thinking about like the whole uh, the whole Wapiti thing. But there, that's that fort. I've never been in there actually in um, on this server. Oh, I hate doing that. Like to be honest with you, I could have just could have just um, put that thing out of its misery. I hate the 
hate putting animals in suffering and stuff in this game, it's awful. <laughs> Catherine will be around much more now, so for sure. Yeah, and hopefully, because I'm, I'm going to be like varying the servers and stuff like that, particularly when it's like tonight, um, where the people that I sort of generally roll around with um, weren't going to be getting on by the sound of, of things, so I was just sort of like, well, I'll I'll vary the um, vary the server and everything. Oh fuck! Uh, if I go up there, I think I'm going to get blasted by those NPCs. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think you want to do that. But yeah, take care, um, Casino, and hope um, hope to see you soon. As I say. Actually, we should check to see if anyone got in after that um, that restart. No, it's like the same people got back in. So maybe we'll go down into Valentine and um, see Wagwan. Is that was that coach there before? The fuck. I've never seen this before. But then I haven't played single player, so yeah. Um, should probably uh, should probably do that. Oh, that would be so cool if someone was playing like a post um, post person or whatever. And oh, come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Get ready to see my desktop again, guys. Bollocks to it. Let's have a drink of the old beer, actually, because it's getting a bit warm. Server shutting down. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Let's just give it a minute and re reconnect. Hopefully it will be sorted out this time. Well, mm, no instant handshaking probably means at the moment it's um, still coming back up. But people were telling me about Server 2 before and that it's been kind of iffy. But yeah, I've not experienced this before. Maybe, maybe that we have to call it earlier than expected. What time is it anyway? It's coming up to three, so yeah, I might call it in a minute. Yeah, it's looking like it's still Dune. Oh, shite. Twenty-three or twenty-three. Hopefully, that means we'll get back back in there. But yeah, as I was, <clears throat> excuse me, about to say before I got rudely interrupted by the server crashing or getting restarted again, I um was thinking how cool it would be if someone was playing like a post pa post person or de delivery man or whatever, um, and was fixing up that cart in the middle of nowhere outside um that fort. I can't remember the name of that fort. Huh? Is it? Mm, I want to say like Fort Cumberland or something like that. I don't know. Anyone in chat know? What's the name of this fort right here? And where the bloody hell is the old gold panning place gone to, eh? I know it was on the uh, the west coast of that river, but uh, I don't bloody know where it is now. Oh, we're right here, that's fine. Oh, I've got no bloody eyebrows. We 
Oh, I didn't know about this. I don't know about this. Yeah, we're hard instance. Fuck. Um, right. Disconnect. I was the hard instanced one. It's going to be a bit of a short stream then if this persists. Because I hope it's not going to keep crashing like this, but I've got a, I've got a nasty feeling it might carry on, so might be another short one. Just have to see what happens. Hurrah! probably be checking the old instancing as well because I think that's probably shitting a brick right now. <sighs> We're getting crashing issues at a map location. Huh. Okay. I'm hoping it's not my map location because um, I just I want to ride away from this this mess. I'm wondering if it is maybe to do with that fort. Maybe we just we we'll ride back towards Valentine. Probably nothing to do with me. Um, we are. Are we soft instanced? Yeah, I think we're soft instanced. Hopefully it's just a... Just a matter of... Um, time before we get back into it. Oh, what's in there? Never been in there, mate. I'm finding loads of stuff. I've never seen before in this game because most of the time I spent in Red Dead Redemption 2 online was all sort of grinding the shit out of it. Maybe we'll just wait here by this cabin. It's a really nice little spot this. Through the, uh, looking through the trees right there. If we, uh, we had eyebrows I'd take a screenshot there actually but <laughs> um oh pro tip don't search your own saddlebags your horse will kick you in the face for it um <laughs> I learned this the hard way the other day no uh-huh. 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 No. Where are my eyebrows? Can I have my eyebrows, please? Excuse me, sir. You seem to have taken my eyebrows. What you doing? What you doing to stay? Why are you so mad right now? What's going on? What, what you doing? What you doing? Uh, have we got some sort of bear or some shit? Hmm. Uh, what? Okay. That was weird. 
Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so when the server syncs up, you end up getting um, booted off your horse and they disappear. Hopefully, Esteo's not like fucked up because of that somehow. I don't know how that works, but yeah, let's load our skin again whilst we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, the stairs down the bottom of a friggin... What are you doing down there, the stair, you bloody idiot? It looks like the server's filled back up again. Come on, you! Oh, do I need to come down there? Are you... Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, let's not go fucking... Thank you. Uh, right. And away we go! Do I have eyebrows? I don't have eyebrows. The fuck is wrong with me? Alright. Let's get our ass away from here. I feel like... I feel like we could be contributing to shite. Yeah, I hope everyone's all right, and that um, the stream is okay. It's saying I've skipped some frames in the last few minutes. It's probably when I've had to alt tab and stuff, but I think it's all right now. And the stream doesn't look like it's died of death or anything like that, so it's um, it's all good on that end too. Uh, hmm, maybe we go back down into Valentine and just see who's around. Hopefully there's no more restarts and random crashes and booting out of uh, players and whatnot. Oh, hang on. We're doing that though. I do want eyebrows. <laughs> we got... I have eyebrows. Hmm. That's weird. Take your gloves off, sir! Hello, my uh, beautiful horses. One day uh, you may be all in my corral, you know? Yeah, they're all Morgans. It's just seeing if they had any, um, if they had anything rare spawn amongst them. I know that apparently you can find a, um, you can find Arabians and stuff like that out in the uh, out in the wilderness. But um, that would be like Miguel would have a fucking orgasm over that. <laughs> He'd be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it!" Right here. The most perfect horse to uh, to have with this tail, especially if it was like a uh, female Arabian. Yeah, it looks like it's filling back up again. Good. Yeah, I'm sorry guys about the sort of sporadic what in hell? crashing and what in hell? What in hell's wrong with you, boy? God damn. Maybe we'll try and work on a southern accent of some kind. Maybe for another character on uh, either on here or maybe on Wild RP. I was thinking about doing that earlier and then I thought, no, maybe we just get on with Miguel here don't have to make a new character. Hello, my friend. Hey, 
you you okay there, my friend? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I, I appear to have had quite a few different fucking headaches today. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it, my friend. I was uh, in the middle of hunting some elk right there. And uh, before you know it, you uh, yeah, you I'm fast asleep right there. I wake up in the woods and I'm like, where my elk go? Yep, same thing happened to me. Except I was over at the saloon and just, I had just purchased oh, a beer. Fucking fell down on my head, bashed my head across the table, I think, but I'm not really sure. They, Weird uh, because I, I like I have no memory of it. But I just I wake up on the floor. I don't remember drinking that long anyway. All oh, right, yeah, I uh, I can imagine it must be pretty frustrating not to remember the night before, you know. Oh, but that yeah, uh, that yeah. happened to me quite a bit, you know, from uh, drinking too much cerveza. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, what's uh, what's a cerveza? cerveza? <clears throat> Oh, is uh, the the Spanish word for the beer that we use? Oh, okay, okay. I'm not actually Spanish though. I'm a I'm from Argentina. I'm a gaucho. Argentina, isn't that Spanish too? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, we uh, we speak Spanish there, but uh, you know, there is a little bit of difference between the uh, the Spanish we speak there and uh, you know this the Spanish they speak in uh, Mexico, like, for example. Like a, like a different dialect. Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose uh, uh, I, this this I, is I, the I, word. Yeah, I'm picking up what you put <clears> down. Yeah, we have a, you know, few different pronunciation for uh thing like, uh, you know, in uh, Mexico, they call it pollo for the yeah, for the chicken. Yeah, chicken. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. In uh, in Argentina, we say pocho. It's like oh, okay, uh, okay, you okay. you so you know where like you have uh, of, yeah. yeah yeah you know where you have uh, the the two L right next to each other yeah 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 you you replace this sound with the the sh so yeah it's like that okay, okay but there are many you know many differences but people always say to me you know oh, you must be from Mexico you have a uh, you have a sombrero and uh, the poncho. And I'm like, uh, no, my friend, I'm uh, I'm Argentine. I come all the way from Argentina to be here. Yeah, not everybody with a sombrero and a, and a poncho from Mexico. I mean, I technically I get the the uh, the sombrero from uh, from Mexico, but yeah, uh, yeah, right over the border. Yeah, is that well? Is you know a guy? Uh, I don't really I, I don't really talk about this story to many people actually, but. Uh, he kind of have to give it to me. Uh, it's like a family heirloom to him, you know. Okay. Okay. And, yeah, uh, yeah. He asked me to uh, to keep all of it uh, on his deathbed like that. Oh, I'm I'm, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, it'll be someone's deathbed. Ah, uh, well, I'm you know I'm sorry that he had to uh, to go the way he did, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are reasons for that. But yeah, uh, my name is Miguel. Actually, what uh, what's your name? Hey, Miguel. Uh, Miguel, uh, did we meet before. My name is Joe. J Wild Joe. Oh, Wild Joe, <laughs> my friend. Because you you have different clothes, I think again. Uh, I kind of changed my my eyebrows grew in a little bit more. All oh, right. Yeah, my mine yeah. too, actually. Yeah, yeah, so how you been? Uh, how you been? Took a little while. They uh, they get singed in the fire, you know, like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. I get that. Yeah, yeah. No, I've uh, been pretty good, my friend. Actually, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah still, I, should, uh, I should say the shit that I've been into the last fucking probably three weeks, four weeks. Uh, Cause I, I mean, I, I told you about how hell I I lost my family a long time ago, right? Ah, uh, no, I don't think you did, my friend. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, they they call me Wild Joe because, well, I call myself Wild Joe because I was in the wild for so long. Basically, what happened to me is when I was five years old, my my mama and my papa, they uh they got killed. They were both bankers, and uh, it was just a what they say was an accident. Some people claim that I did it at five years old, but I know 
I hid underneath the floorboards as these men came in, masked up, and killed my parents, stole all the money in the house. Yeah. Well, come to find out, my cousin from Boston came looking down for me, and lo and behold, almost two and a half, three weeks later, I, I meet my, my cousin Clinton. He showed up out of nowhere. Didn't even know why I was alive. I didn't even know he existed. To be honest, I was only five years old, and this all shit, all this shit happened. He came out of nowhere. It's like I, like I don't even know the man. But he's been getting into some weird shit lately. Apparently, from what I understand, it's a possibility someone trying to get him in trouble. But that, I mean, that is what it is. Um, uh, so b between that happening and uh, y you know a man named Deputy Steele. Um, maybe actually that. I think maybe I've run into this guy before. Did he? Uh, does he take the uh, the morphine? Uh, I don't know. It, it, it might be. He kind of, uh, kind of Deputy loud. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like a bit of a, like he kind of a little funny, you know, like that. Yeah, he's got an opinion. A lot of people don't like. Some people don't like him. They actually have been shooting him up. Oh no, that's uh, that's not good. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been trying to help him. The Catholics around town aren't really the Catholics. They're kind of uh, let's just say they're kind of slimy individuals. Partner. Oh right, I did not they, uh, uh, did not know about this. Yeah, you, you know what the you, you know about the Catholics, right? They got like a cardinal and stuff like that that leads the church around here. Oh right, I I've never met him, but uh, no, I, I know a little bit, I suppose. So the apparently the cardinal's like a really it's rich man, right? <laughs> well, this cardinal, he's taking the money that he's been earning instead of giving it to the poor, trying to help the needy, trying to have the church continue and strive. He's been paying man. To go after Deputy Steele and try to kill him. He's been paying for large, large amounts of security. I've never heard of a, of a holy man needing security. And he's been dumping a lot of money into ammunition and guns. Oh really? That uh... oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that Steele. that don't sound too uh, too religious to me, you know. No, it don't. So that Deputy Steele, he uh. <clears throat> be telling us about it and we decided we were gonna help him out so i believe it might be a front i ain't sure but he claimed he's gonna be starting a church and he wanted the church to be right across from where the catholic church is over in saint denis you know the the, the big church that's across from the, the the gun store uh actually not uh, spent too much time in uh, saint denis my friend uh, i don't really the gun store down there uh, maybe, uh, road past it, maybe? I'm not sure. Is it? Yeah, don't recommend going in. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't mind this city, you know, but, uh, for me, like, I'm, because I'm a gaucho, so I spend most of my time out in the, uh, out in the hills and, you know, the, the, yep, the plains, yep. really. Oh, man, I, I, I completely understand you. You do not need to explain that to me. Let me tell you what. This solidifies my whole reasoning to never want to go back into the city again. I go into so this is right across the street from that from that church. I go into the a gun store there, and, and I thought it was like, I, I mean, th there's a lot of like, um, what do you call it? Them, uh, them Asian folk that own the Orientals. A lot of them, they 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 own like a lot of the buildings down there, right? All oh, right, yeah. And there's like you see like all the Chinese, the Chinese man scribe all the all the words all over the place. Well, I walk into the gun store, and uh, this lady in there, she might have heard me, but she was kind of snitching on the cop to one of his superior officers. Hello. And I was like, wow, a lot of people bitching and complaining about this man doing his job, huh? She must have heard me, so I go in there and try to buy a gun, and she surrounds me. She's like, oh, so I'm a bitch, huh? I said, what are you talking about? She goes, oh, you see, I've been bitching and complaining. 
I said, yeah, I might have said that. I don't know. I, you know, uh, shit's been going on. People complain. Hey, it is what it is. She's like, yeah. well, I don't like that. Why are you, why are you hanging out with that deputy steel? So in the meantime, this whole thing going on, about five or six of her men came out of nowhere, surrounded me. Saw threatening me and shit. I'm pretty sure they're doing some illegal stuff down there in that in that uh, gun. Got to remember this guy in future. I don't know if they got some I like kind of drugs, it's a good, good RP. weapons, something like that. To be honest, I'd like to try to figure it out. I'd like to actually get on in on it if possible. My hands on some of those guns, they might be a little bit valuable. Probably more oh, valuable right. than the ones down on the <clears throat> band down to that thieves land that thieves uh thieves landing or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh don't uh don't call it thieves landing around my friend uh Callahan though, but uh yeah the, I know I know the place. He call it the yeah. landing because he uh he lived there his whole life, but uh oh, yeah, yeah, between between you and me I call it the landing of the thieves. Yeah I mean I call it the same thing. Here's the thing, right? You ever go down there and they got that shotgun, they got that, that repeater rifle? Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently there's a couple more locations. I, I was talking right. to the... Yeah, I was, I was talking to the man that was selling them. And uh, he told my cousin that apparently there's quite a few different locations across the country that him and his brothers, the rest of the, uh, the thieves' den, basically... They've been uh, they've been selling lots, lots of crazy illegal shit. All right. I've been trying to find the other place that haven't found me yet, though. Just seen I mean, that uh, one down there. I know where there is a uh, another place, but it's uh, it's quite a cold ride, you know, because uh, it uh, oh, it up yeah. north. You know this uh, place. Uh, let me just uh, well, what uh, what was that? Did you you heard that too, right? Yeah, it sound like a lantern bursting. Yeah, there. Uh, you know this place, Coulter. Hello. What's it called? Ah, uh, Coulter. I'm, um, I believe, uh, very. I, I don't know it. Very far to the north. Uh, yeah. You gotta you... go through that native land, though. Oh no, you don't. Uh, I don't think you have to go that way. You can. No. You can maybe go that way, but uh, I never go that way myself. But you can. Uh, you can. You. You have a little uh, map you have drawn at all. I. Uh... Hey, let me see you. Let's see. We got Kotora Springs. Are we. Oh wait. Not that. Oh, by the Wapiti, right? Uh, no, if, let me, uh, let me just get my, uh, my map out one moment, let me just, uh, okay, tell you. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, there there is a little uh, there is a little lake called uh, Car Karen Karen Lake like this. Karen Lake. Oh. Uh, you know, um, if you if, if you look at the. Uh, I mean, if we're in Valentine, am I gonna go up north there, or you, am I going oh, south? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Let me uh, let me uh, have a little look there. I don't think I've seen no Karen Lake. Okay, you uh, you ever know of um, this Barrow Lagoon? Barrow Lagoon, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Uh... Okay, uh, so from Barrow Lagoon, you you could. Like there's a pathway that go like to the northwest, I believe it oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it take you up to uh, Karen or Karen Lake. I'm sorry, I don't uh, pronounce very well, but uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ka I think is close Karen to Lake, there. Yeah, yeah. You gotta but, be careful up there though, because the uh, I think it's the uh, 
Oh, one of those native tribes up there. Oh, they are. Okay, well, oh, I mean, yeah. uh, anything basically north of the of the uh, the railroad is basically native land. All oh, right, I, I did I did not know this. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been there uh, up to Coulter, the the town there, um, and then we I was on like a, a little expedition a while ago with uh, my friend uh, Mr. Choppins and a few other people. There's a man that uh, live up there actually. He he called uh uh you know this man uh Mongo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he uh, he I think he used to live there maybe but uh you know he uh he he moved a little while ago perhaps I think but yeah, he used to uh, live right up there in uh, in Coulter. And he took us up there to show us, uh, you know, the the hut that he come from, uh, where when we were going hunting there. But I did not know that what, the the native they, uh, moved what there. Still up there, then. I think it is exactly the same as the the one in the thieves' landing. No, I feel like they they sell the. Uh, yeah, well, maybe maybe it's different now. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've not been there for a little while, you know. Is uh, now that you I, say is. Uh, Maybe a little bit risky to go there. Yeah. Now I, I heard there's like a. This... Oh shit! What on earth is this? Like. Yeah. Oh, I gotta see where you this comes from. Maybe we uh, have a look. Oh shit! There's a fire. Holy shit! What the? What the hell? You see the uh, we want to get involved in. No, there was uh, somebody running away up there behind uh, towards the church. I don't know, uh, oh, no. like you say, I don't know if we want to go that way. Yeah, why would you know? Why would you try to set fire to the uh, the general store like that? You know what? We can always get up on this hotel, see what's going on. Let's see. Wait, was that the man right there? Where? Where? Right there, riding away. Uh, what, where? Over down that way. Where we came from, no? Uh, I don't think so. <sighs> kinda wanna see what's going on. Maybe we can hide up here. Oh, let me see if I can grab my my, my binoculars. Yeah, why would you try to set fire to the place? I don't know. It's pretty strange, though. He said he ran up over by the uh, by the church. Yeah, well, it, it they look like the there. they run to uh, toward the church and then like uh, they go left through the graveyard. Maybe okay. they run away up the the hill there to the uh, the northeast right there. Yeah, I see a wagon up there. I little guy, the wagon come down here now though. Oh, ma. Job, make sure I whisper so no one hears me, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, th I think it might be a good idea to see if we can figure out what's going on. Yeah, maybe we uh, go down into town and see if there is a deputy around, you know. They would have heard that, I would have thought, but uh, maybe they are sleeping, that, you know. That was, that was two mighty fine and close explosions in the last five minutes together, though. Yeah, it uh, it seemed like somebody trying to uh, burn the town down or something like this. Wonder if they're trying to steal something from that. Was it the saloon that was on fire or was it the uh, convenience store? I uh, was the uh, the convenience store here. The store right here. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if the uh, the man who owned yeah, the store is uh, is okay. Yeah, that's a good question, actually. He's lucky that uh, the fire don't spread to the uh, the saloon. Everybody would go mad, right? Not getting their uh, their drink. Yeah, you're not gonna... <laughs> I met that some Rip Van Winkle guy earlier today. Claims he's like the, the town drunk or some shit. 
All right, I never, uh, never meet this guy. Yeah, name Van Winkle. Hey, what's going on over here? Ah, don't, uh, don't see anybody, but, uh... Yeah, there's a man out there in the, uh... Oh, yeah, there, there are a man in the field right there. Oh, past yeah, the, uh... What the hell's he doing? Past the, uh, the camp right there. Maybe we, uh, we should go down and have a little chat to him. You okay there, my friend? Maybe we, uh... Come on, Desteo, where are you? It doesn't... That's what? That ain't Desteo. Where's... Where's our friend gone? We just... We just lost our friend. Hey, uh... You are Lorman, you? I am Lorman, yes. There, uh... There was a fire just now. We, we hear two, uh, two fire. A fire where? It was, uh, in town yeah. at the, uh, the, the... The general store. Yeah, it's over at the grocery store over there. It looks like they uh, someone threw some kind of firebomb or something. All right, you know who? Got on the post over there. We don't know. We've been uh, actually trying to figure that out. Trying to stay away as much as possible. Yeah, we uh, don't want to check it off too much. We go up on the roof up there to try and uh, see, cause I I see someone when we come around the corner here by the uh, by the butcher there. Uh, we see somebody running. Well, uh, my friend. Uh, Mr. Joe here don't uh, don't see them, but I see them running away from uh, from the town, going towards the uh, the northwest, like the the road out that way. Oh, then sorry, the northeast. Right. Sorry. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't either just one time either. It happened two times while yeah. we were sitting and chatting together. Yeah, the horse is getting very spooked by uh, by the the fire and the, the noise and everything. So we're thinking like, what is going on there? Maybe some local causing the problem. But uh, we come up here and uh, I think he, from a distance, he look he looked like a man. Maybe I'm not sure. But uh, they they were wearing white on the top, or you know, a, a whitish kind of color. Right. But, okay. Yeah, the, that uh, that all I see there. All right, and who would I be speaking to? Ah, uh, my name is Miguel, Miguel Sanchez. Man on my left. Yeah, I'm Joseph Woods. All right, boys, go check it out. I appreciate you, all right? Yeah, check out that store too. You see, yeah. it should be. Uh, it actually looks like a might be a scorch still. Yeah, the uh, the right. lamppost uh, right next to it is it have a big burn to it. Oh, good. I thought the uh, maybe the flame also were going to spread to the saloon, right? The the local would not be happy about that. No, not at all. Especially that rip fella. Sorry, uh, what what your name uh, there? The lawman, sorry. I would be Deputy Dawson Ray. All right, Dawson Ray. That's right. Well, uh, good to meet you. Uh, hopefully yeah, nice you, uh, you as well. hopefully you'll find uh, who the the person that like the fire is. You know. Yeah, yeah I hope you can so. see the you can see the scorch mark still up the yeah. side of the pole here. You see that right All there? Right. Yep. That pretty damn good. Scared the shit out of me, I ain't gonna lie. Might have to change my trousers later. Yeah, the uh, the horses are still, uh, you know, a little bit crazy here in town because of it, I think. This one here behind me going a bit loco. Oh, it's just calling them me. Might be just... 
Oh, Might be maybe, best uh, to try and call it for you then. Yeah, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe I tried that. Well, oh, I was like asking come, around, come. Where you said, uh, he was wearing white, right? Yeah, yeah, look like a, maybe a, like a white hey, shirt doing, or man. something like this. Going what the fuck am I doing? Alright, I'll have a look around, I appreciate uh, oh, you. I say, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's alright, it's alright. Are you, uh, you Be safe, Miguel, alright? Uh, yeah, you, uh, you take care of there. Thank you. Where's my freaking yeah, horse crew's going? Check this out. It's the stair just can run off again. Some kind of fireball. Yeah, look at scorch, scorch the whole side of this. Y'all see the pole right here? No. <laughs> Uh, not Mexican, my friend. No. Uh, I'm from Ar Argentina, my friend. Uh, oh, 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 very well traveled. No, I'm a gaucho. Jesus, this uh, storm is very loud. Yeah, let's, let's go inside there. It's too loud. I can't hear you. It's bloody red. Oh, watch the alley. Wow, it's uh, so loud out there tonight. Yeah, sure is. Yeah, I wonder, uh, wonder where this man uh, ran off to. Or, I mean, it could be a woman, you know. Don't uh, uh, don't get too good of a I'm, look at them. I from ain't gonna distance. lie, there was yeah, there's some lady earlier today. I was over in the general store. She was robbing it right in front of me. Oh, Trying really? to kill me right there. Oh man, there's some crazy people around here. I I've been threatening to get. Fucking killed several times. Yeah, Fuck pissing me off. Robbery, you said. Yeah, some really? fucking broad. Yeah, some oh, fucking son of a bitch robbed me earlier. I got no. I, got, I had a bolt action taken off me. Really? I had a shotgun off me. Fucking all oh, my money gone. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. not, I'm, not, I'm not happy. What did the fellow look like? Story. Yeah, he was tall fella. He was wearing, he was wearing one of those poncho things, but not this man. Any here. idea what his name was? Uh, he called himself Simon. Simon. Yeah. It don't sound like the the sort of person that would wear, uh, you know, the kind of gaucho clothing I have. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think he was under disguise. He was an outlaw in disguise. I reckon oh, he's you know, even Simon, mate. Fuck you, know, as a guest. Yeah, me and my brother here, we're just here on business, and they are fucking robbed yeah. as soon as they come off the boat. That's uh, yeah, kind of business. That's really nasty. That. That kind of oh, thing, well, you know. You run a barber shop, actually. Uh, barber yeah, shop and tailors, yeah, yeah. that's right. You are, uh, Wait, maybe, uh, you know, Mr. Chappins, you you both s you sound a little bit like him. Maybe you're brother to him. What, what do you are Mr. Chappins. Who the uh, chop, is he? Chop, uh, chop, Chappins, like, uh, chop, oh, uh, chop uh, like you chop wood, like that. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, my surname, oh, our surname's Anderson, so. Yeah, well, my name's Henderson. Charlie. Charlie. Uh, yeah, Henders. Yeah, Charlie Anderson, yeah. Uh, yeah. How you doing, mate? Johnny Anderson, nice to meet you. Yeah, guys. Good, yeah. good to meet you both. Uh, my name yeah. is Miguel Sanchez. Miguel oh, Sanchez. Oh, yeah. It's people. Quite an uh, team. Well, yeah, people uh, think that I'm from Mexico, like you say, uh, but. This uh, this sombrero that I wear is uh, actually from uh, it is from Mexico, but uh, it uh, was like uh, how you say like a heirloom. The guy he gave it to me on his deathbed. Uh, oh, but, oh, uh, that's oh, very it's very generous of that gentleman. I must yeah, say. it's a no beautiful, beautiful. The only thing beautiful I've had since I got he's been fucking robbed. 
Yeah, come here. Oh, you know, all, all I wanted, all I wanted to do was have a shootout with this fella because he was, you know, he was mocking me. He was saying he was going to rob me. I like you. If you want to go, we'll have a fucking shootout. And he decided just to, you know, lasso me up and, and take my weapons off me. I think that's jugs, mate. I'm not sure. A fucking, a fucking shootout is a fucking shootout. I mean, that's like oh, the yeah. that's it's like the lowest way you can possibly be, right? Yeah. Yeah, what kind of son of a bitch does that to a man, you know? Yeah, it's like uh, oh, bringing a knife to a think? to a fist fight when you're giving a man a good uh, fisting to the face and he bring out the knife, like you you know, like. Oh well, mate, I reckon it sounds like the fella likes a good fisting, but not in the face if you catch my drift. <laughs> ah, right, yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. The, uh, yeah, this this is the word that uh, Mickey uh, Mickey and my friend Mr. Chopin used to to talk about the fighting. The two, you know, like you. Using your hand to punch the the face, and he he called it the fisting. So you know, because he English, I think it is, this is the I way to called, uh, to say. I think he might have called it the fist the cuffs. Fisticuffs, <laughs> maybe. I'm not well, sure, I'll but he <laughs> no, he uh, he definitely called it fisting, right? Uh, fisting cuffs. Yeah, he he called it the fisting to the face, like uh, you you get the fist to the back of the head or the fist to the face. Yeah, and he, he called it the fisting, people. but uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm from Argentina, so I don't really yeah. know. But uh, yeah, he he seemed like he know what he's talking about. He have yeah. been kicked in the head a few times by the horse, though. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe he got fisted by the horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, you don't want to do that to the stale. He definitely give you uh, the the kick, my friend. You you know this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you gentlemen, yeah. Are, you gentlemen are definitely funny. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah I appreciate funny. that. Uh, yo, yo, comedy is a, a weak value. You guys are barbers, huh? Yeah. You want to see? You know, you bought the companion here. He's a tailor. I'm a barber. Yeah. Right. That's good. Ah. We got the perfect fucking trim back and yeah, soles. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Not guys. bad. I haven't had a haircut in like probably 15 years. Yeah. So if you want to, you want to wear a cut, mate. I'll cut you here, you want. Uh, be honest with you, I've been trying to you know, grow a oh, little bit. Yeah. It's kind of like to, a symbol. Trying to look like a lady, are you? <laughs> no, I'm trying to hide who I really am. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Easy, Easy. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Essence of mystery. Yeah, I like it. Get in. Yep. A little short right. bracelet, I know. Right, you just you put a dress on, mate, and then uh, you know, I don't even think you're a bit... Yeah, you can get away with all of it. <laughs> well, no, you won't be able to speak, of course. You'd have to it's shut so your mouth. Well, Maybe you'd you just pretend you're a mute. People yeah. would just be straight up your skirt. Bet your eyelids are little. Oh, we're certain that's jokes. Skirt yeah, you think that would work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I reckon definitely. So, yeah, I love it. it. I love I'm it. I'd do it myself. You may have to do that, then. business. Yeah. I love it all. Hello. Howdy. There we go. I think I think someone damn near fucking burned up my eyebrows again. <laughs> yeah, they they look it's like they are the fireball game. you're talking about, you know? The damn yeah. Fire. Yeah, the fire fireball. Ball. I swear Which to God, he go, Miguel was here too. He he saw it too. No idea what these gentlemen are about about fireballs. But all I do, we do know he's that this man's got a great oh, business. That, see that woman yeah. right up there on the balcony? Yeah. No. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fireballs, yeah. just be Ooh. careful. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, fireballs. Oh, that's so, stuff I'm into. That's what I'm talking about. 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 That's what i am Cheers for the host, buddy. Exactly. So like something. Throw right like, in the middle of the old arm. Yeah, no, that sounds a bit painful, mate. If I'm honest. Hey, who's this fucking idiot? Get away from the barber chair, mate. He's puking. Get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's about to puke. Oh, that's fucking. Get him out of here. I don't want him puking inside the saloon. Oh, oh, he uh, he got down with one punch right there. You're uh, you're really good at the fisting right there. Yeah, no, yeah. 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 Yeah
trying to give oh, you, you look I'm nice. trying to give you a job today. All right. You, okay. You, were like, you looked at me and oh, just like, went, uh, I had to still say it though. You already knew what I was going to say. I'm a, it's all right. I mean, it's an so old, a, a classic bar fight. I don't have a problem with that. Y'all oh, heard him. Go, oh, go kick that guy's ass. He, he's drunk there, but he said I meant he fucked your mother. If it's a fair fight oh. stipulation. Wait, yeah, who fucked yeah, my wait. mother? The guy sitting down there drunk over at the back of the bar. Oh, that fella, eh? He's harmless, mate. That would not be a fair fight. Yeah. That yeah. always well, fair when you wake asleep, him up. He's just mate. He's just asleep. Wait, wake him up <laughs> first. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to wake him up. Look, he's, he's hope everyone that's come over from dudes is a nice. I wasn't far off calling it, but now we've got involved he's with a bit of arcade. Oh, he's pretty hard though in his dreams. I can tell. I carry oh, a dream catcher tell. in my pocket. Yeah, I can tell what right. he was dreaming. How do you, you fellas, do a haircut? Damn you! Haircut. I was uh... yeah, a haircut or a shave. My pubes knit. Okay, never mind. No, I fucking ain't doing that, mate. You have to do that yourself. I was actually uh, hey, hoping hey, to have a bath later on, but uh, I don't oh, think the uh, the ladies are around. You want the ladies to wash up on you? I'm telling you now, they don't go a little lower. I'm sorry. What's no, I know, I know. Off? Mitch will, though. Mitch is over there. I was, uh, I have the, 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 the bath one baby. time. Mr. Chapins pay for it for me because, you know, I was out hunting for a long time and uh, got a little bit too bloody right there. So uh, yeah, he, uh, he he give me the bath for uh, well he he don't give me the bath right no like uh, you know not like that. We got oh, you go down the roads then get the ladies Chase down the there and they'll bring you down. Blood on your yeah. shoulder. Yeah. You messed it up, mate. You gotta wash that off. Yeah, it gives me a bit of fucking manliness to me. Nah, yeah, I mean, mate, I you all tailored. You, mate. That's a you don't fucking, fucking start with me, yourself, Charles. Mate. Don't fucking start with me, I'm just right. looking out for you, mate. You yeah, no, you I just noticed you blokes look the exact same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're brothers, don't we, mate? Yeah. For fuck's sake. How was your night anyway, anyway dude? Of course we're fucking yeah. brothers. Look at we're us. Do we look like, same, we look like yeah. friends? Yeah, you two look like fucking friends. No, we're not friends. exactly we look like the same. I've got a slightly different thing. You look like you in the same... Y'all yeah, look like you work at the same place. Well, we Can't do live fucking work. Well. The same yeah. fucking business, I don't mate. work. What yeah. business? Well, I'm a barber and he's a tailor. Yeah. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm a cutter, mate. Yeah. 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 Where are you yeah. from? Where are you from? London. Uh, of course. London, yeah. oh, you London, London bricks. England. London, bricks. Bricks. What are you talking about? Bricks? I'm from Reading. Reading's better, brother. I'm Reading. from Armadillo. Fuck you. Don't let me We get shit done in Reading, all right? You said Reading? London's for all you yes men and better than blue and yes assholes. man, are you fucking talking yeah. about mate? You remember fucking Jason? He was from Reddy, well, he? he was a massive cunt. Oh yeah, he was a massive <laughs> <laughs> Are you a massive cunt as well from Reddy? Uh, nah, this, this guy's a geezer, he is. This is yeah, fucking I'm a geezer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's talking about fucking Johnny Anderson. That's talking about Johnny Anderson. Johnny Anderson. Well, I was you're, joking. You're a sheriff, aren't you? You can't be a fucking geezer if you're a sheriff, can you? No, you can. You can. Oh, Depends what you get sake. into. Oh, oh look, the fella got up, he's walking home. Hey, off he yeah. goes. Yeah, you take care of yourself. Mind, uh, mind you don't trip over, my friend. He still is talking smack about your mother, so I don't know. You should let him go. Hey, who's talking uh, smack? No him, about uh, that man, my mother? He was asleep the whole yep. time. He's talking smack. Oh, well, right. hang on, my friend. One moment. He said man in the yellow poncho, specifically. Ah, damn it. Oh, wait. I'm always trying to get my... Where'd this man go? Where Come back go? here. Come back here. Where do you take my hat to? Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. Walk up, huh? I need to uh, pick my hat up there as well. What'd you do? Oh, uh, no. He, yeah, he, he gone. Ran he, up. Gone. he just Lord. disappeared like that. Like son of a bitch, he come out here and he said to me uh, th that about my mother, I kill him. No, well, I don't. I don't mean I kill him. No, no, no. I don't uh, want yeah, to right. kill him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Not the right. Uh, not yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, no. I I need to get my hat back. Where my hat go? Is it? Did I drop it inside there? Probably inside. Yeah, I think maybe when I walk I past run, the, run uh, the barber, I maybe yeah, trip over the chair right maybe. there. Way yeah, so yeah, here it is. It, it down here. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Look at him. Take a little bite. Of this. Damn way. 
I love him, but you only eat one a day. No, you, you no, a day. no, Deputy, don't, don't eat the fucking Don't let the oh, deputy try off. to hog them. He's trying to hog them all. He's hogging them all. Look at him. Oh, he's he's just eating them, them all. Down so his bad for you. God, Joel, it's just so bad. Just have one. No balls. 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 Wait, I thought they ain't pickled cow's eyes. To be honest, I like prefer the eggs uncooled if I'm honest with you. Well, just eat one of the pickled ones. Have you tried it, pickled? Oh, well, I couldn't just. Have you tried oh, it, pickled? Oh, pickled this is wild, Joe. Probably, but those are fucked. Oh, those. Well, try one. Well, just try pretty one. Pretty just try one. They taste great. This guy pissed at them, okay? You pissing? <laughs> I do not piss at them. <laughs> not this morning. Yeah, you, uh, you do. Well, you you piss. No, no, don't fucking morning. eat it. No, no, no. Eat one. Eat one. Eat one. Eat one. Eat one. Eat one. He pisses in them. Oh, what are you doing? He's eating one. He's got fucking balls. Look at him. They taste so fucking bad. They taste amazing. Oh, but look at him. They taste amazing. They taste amazing. Ooh, look at that. See, he wow. liked it. He liked I'm, it. I'm pretty yeah. sure he uh, just picked up the eyeball right there. No, no, I didn't. Deputy, I didn't piss in him yes, this morning. Yes, you did. Don't worry. You always piss in him. I didn't piss in him this morning, though. Shut up. You're the drunk of Valentine. How do you remember? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, did you leave uh, the fucking car on the back? Maybe it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I'm Probably. Go no. check on it. The car? What? The car. The car. The car. Uh, what? What, are you oh, talking about one of them automobiles the that got over Boston? No, the oh, fucking no. car with a T! Let's try and get they outside without breaking a ball. We'll there finish the old damn sentence. I think they do, I don't know. I haven't been really reading that. I'm reading my own book. Last oh, I heard, they still had them overseas. Still trying to do something over here in America. Still overseas? I thought they were... Maybe it was New York or something, I don't know. I heard some German company saw that shit. Uh, German uh, company, what the, uh, what this? Yeah, so some, uh, some place in Germany, they saw make some automobile. Basically, it's like a, it's like a cart, but you got, you got some kind of wheel in it, so you can make it move, steer it the way you want to do it. Oh right. Uh, Works that, with like, uh... like some kind of steam engine, some shit like that, or something like that. I don't know. Kind of oh, like the boats, but, but you can add the wheels on, and you can steer that shit. A lot easier oh, it's like uh, these carriages, like the train. Hey, except that you don't gotta be on no track. You can go wherever you want. What? You can go yeah. wherever you like. Yeah, it's like one of these. Except, so the wheels turn when you wanna do it. You need no horse or something like that. No way. Sure. No, you can't. Be. Oh yeah. That no, really. Yeah, it's some crazy shit like that. That's what I heard. Some place out in Germany got it. Oh wow! I had never, uh, never heard of this before. Yeah, my my cousin plans to tell me about it. Well, like last week or something like that. That's a good cerveza right there. Yeah. Hey, Kuda, how you doing, buddy? Have you have a good tell night? Well, this place, this place kind of, kind of dead out here lately. Yeah, usually I'm uh, seeing people, uh, you know, like running around with the throwing knife and uh, throwing it in the bar and lasso, you Throw know, each other. Here. But uh, yeah, no, today uh, seemed quite, uh, like you say, quiet like that. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking on going down to like roads on the way there, doing a little bit of hunting, trying to make a little bit of money. All right. Well, let's see if there's any uh, anything going on down there. If you wanna, you wanna take along. Well, actually, my friend, I was going to have this beer and then maybe uh, actually head to bed. Uh, is uh, all right, feeling all right. kind of uh, feeling kind of sleepy tonight, you know? But uh, yeah, I understand that. Well, not tonight. I mean, actually, the the sun coming up right there, isn't it, in the sky right here? Oh but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Feeling a little bit a uh, little bit tired right now. Yeah, these days. These days seem to be never ending. They seem to be uh, going on and on and on. I think I've been up for a good four or five days straight at this point. Yeah, I feel like that also. Maybe you know, with a little uh, kind of snooze in between with the uh, the, the yeah, headaches uh, like yeah. that. But uh, my friend, it's been really good to uh, good to meet up with you again. Uh, you know, and yeah, Miguel has, has. No, a little I'll bit be, more. Uh, 
Probably going to be another four days before I get back. Maybe three days before I get back into town. Okay, well... Got, uh, got some more uh, traveling trying to do. I got to find out some more information and see whether or not the information I got leads to anything about my parents anyway. Yeah, well, uh, you know, if you uh, you need anybody and you, you see me in town, you know, uh, you can find... Well, look out behind you right here. Listen, hey, son of a bitch. Why don't you just go around you? Yeah, just move you fucking idiot right there. God, some people are so rude. Definitely make sure uh, I reach out to you next time I see you. Ah, that's a perfect service so right what, there. Miguel, are you usually around here, or are you, or are you uh, we're, we're usually uh, travel? Well, I usually, um, I kind of have a little arrangement that is stable, you know, to, uh, it's kind of north of Rhodes, but uh, south okay. of Emerald Ranch is like between the two. Okay, okay, I there, think I know the place. In the, yeah, in the wood right there. Uh, so sometime I can be found there, mainly around here, Valentine, Thief Landing, you know, and then maybe sometime uh, you find me in Rhodes. Or um or Blackwater also, but uh, yeah, mainly Valentine and Rhodes between the between here and uh, the Thief Landing, you know. Well, all right, all right. Wait, what's in here? Um, hold on, why don't we uh take a walk with me real quick? I gotta keep it. Morning, Mister. So uh. So lately, see, I've been down in uh, Tumbleweed. All right, yeah. It's been, uh, you ever see that abandoned camp out there? The, that uh, big army camp? No, no, I don't uh, Don't there, believe there I have. There is a massive army camp out there. Oh, really? I'm thinking I'm trying to get a group of boys together, trying to take it over. It's been abandoned for several years, it looks like. Yeah, okay. Make it our own little place. Reason why I'm thinking about staying out there is because the uh, the hunting's good and Tumbleweed just got a new butcher out there. Oh, did it? I didn't know about that. I, I do deliveries yeah. to uh, Tumbleweed now and then, you know, but uh, never know about the, the butcher. Listen, listen. I'm Like I said, my cousin and I, I already talked to him about it. I think we get down there, get some boys together. And we start doing a little sun sun if we need to. I mean, I'm trying to stay in the straight straight edge and uh, make sure I don't fuck up anything. But I don't know if you've noticed lately. Seems like what the fuck? What then? Oh dear! Here we go. Damn! I I fucking hope they didn't shoot my damn horse. Yeah, they better oh, not. No, he's uh... running. No, no way we saw the fuck it's not a place for us, is it? It is, it's the most hostile bloody oh, town I've ever seen in my fucking goddamn life, John. Yeah, seems right, then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Willie. Oh, wait, you, you see that guy? Hey, what else? I just want to come up nice to meet you, too. Yeah, which one? The, uh, the guy in the white shirt there. I would, uh, I would love to, but uh, actually I've got to uh, go to sleep. Actually, but oh, you guys, uh, you guys take care of there. The uh, the Henderson brothers, was it? Henderson hey, brothers, you Henderson. got it. You can call us the Hendersons or the Grey Hand. Yeah, take hand. care, uh, take care of there, guys. Yeah. You too, Mr. Mexican fella. Yeah, which, uh, I'm from Argentina. Uh, Oh, oh, no, 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 turn it around. Fucking turn, turn it around. Oh, watch out, everybody. Watch out. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Did I miss him? Oh, Look out for the butcher. Butcher, get down. Get down. You break uh, You break his jar, right? Oh, no, you don't. I can move. I can move. Holy hell. 
I can move. deal with this motherfucker. I'm dealing with you. Drive, drive, no, I'm Where is these guys? These guys are funny. No, I told. I sit there drive. I was, uh, I was just saying. I see, no, I see a, okay. a man with a like a light colored shirt. Maybe it could have been this guy, but uh, he he ran away. I think now. Yeah, it's that fella that's in front of the, uh, I don't know, over there by, in front of the, uh, horse place. Ah, uh, where are you? That fella, right? Oh, what, with the, with the hat right there? The white hat? Yeah, that ain't him either. It's a... No, no. There was a, there was a guy just over here, actually. That guy, right there. You see, uh, you see him right there. Oh yeah, yeah behind this lady. Like you guys are yeah, could be, could be that. Oh, and I that, think that's, a, that's a yeah, that's a lady. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Right, lady, he's lovely to see you, yeah, yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm not going to Blackwater with us. Uh, take care of that. Hey, it was going down group, Blackwater. Little group trip to Blackwater, if you're interested. All right, he's ready. Oh, he's he's definitely not to Blackwater. Blackwater. Man. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere near Blackwater. Yeah. Well, that uh, he's he's ready and he's, he's not a poor Chicago. He's more civilized than if. Anyway, all right. Damn, horse Mitch. Oh, I mean, he's ready Blackwater. to give you a bath. Let me, let me Take care of there, you guys. Well, we, uh, yeah, we leave them do it. Yeah. How much do you need? I got like I was saying before, we can, uh, next time I see you, as long as my cousin around, I'd like to get together, kind of figure this shit out. Yeah, well, that, uh, that would be uh, okay with me, you know, uh, good to try and help uh, good people. Yeah, well, that's the thing, exactly, because there ain't no law down there either. Ah, oh, well, you say that. Actually, my friend, uh, he called uh, Callahan. I think maybe I mentioned him before. Uh -huh. I don't know if you ever meet this guy. Yeah, he. he uh, I don't think so. He usually called just Callahan, but some people call him Del Callahan. But anyway, he uh, he kind of like to be the law down there, but uh, okay. not the uh, official law, shall we say? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he uh, he a good guy, you know. I know him for a long time now. Actually, he probably one of the first people I think I meet in the uh, in the America. But uh, yeah, he he a good guy. You can find him yeah, around ever... Thief Landing sometime. Okay, okay. So you know where uh, you ever you ever hear of that Lake Don Julio? Uh no, I don't believe so. All uh, right, you know where uh, Mercer Station is. Oh, yeah, kind of, yeah, I think so. You, you know the old Fort Mercer down there? I don't know the, the fort, but uh, I guess it close there. Is it like to the north? Fort Mercer is right, right between Tumbleweed and Armadillo. Okay, right, right. A little bit more south there, but that's the, that's the place right there. You yeah. get a chance, go on down there and check it out. Ain't All nobody right, down we'll there. Do. I think we get some boys together. Kind of make it our own little place. Yeah. Get some women. Get some. You know, just. Yeah, maybe. Tell you uh, what. Maybe Callahan it, it, and Miss Snyder uh, would be interested also. Yeah. Now, uh, let me ask you something, Miguel. You uh, travel in that straight and narrow? Or are you, uh, uh, you you're trying know, to figure out a way to get a little bit more money if you need to? I mean, uh, I'm always open to suggestion, you know, like that, but uh, I don't... Here's the thing. I don't want to get nobody killed or anything like that. But no, yeah, exactly. I've right. see, I, see a lot of, I see a lot of fucking people around here making money hand over fist, and I, I don't see another way that they're doing it. Well, I want to stop planning shit out, try to get, you know, some of these banks may be carrying a little bit too much money. All right, yeah. I think uh, we get enough boys together to make that place <laughs> our little home. Stash the stash the cash underneath the rocks down there if we need to bury it. Yeah, that uh, that could work. But, uh, I know a week the, uh... and a half ago, I don't know if you noticed but, or it's read in the newspaper. I don't even know if the newspaper had it in there, to be honest with you, but that bank in Rhodes had a uh, someone blew it up in the back. 
Oh, get really? it to the back side of it. Yeah. Now, after they done it, I I be down there and I, I I noticed that the hole was there and I, not gonna lie, I jumped in it, see what was there and uh, it was cleaned out. All oh, right. The I, uh, people are doing that, then we can figure out a way to do it. I had I some money in that uh, bank. Maybe uh, maybe it's gone now. Uh huh. You might want to well, double check. Right. Not all these banks, they all talk to each other, so maybe uh, they might have got the, the money out in time, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Oh, that uh, sounds like interesting uh, proposal, as you say. My, I mean, my friend uh, Callahan and uh, Miss Snyder, uh, Miss Snyder a bit, maybe more so, but uh, they're, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, you know, okay to uh, to work with in uh, in various different ways. We used to uh, do a bit of bounty hunting and the moonshining a while ago before. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, not done that for a while now, but, uh, yeah, I mean, How much you know, money y'all getting that uh, moonshining? Anything good? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I don't know how to, uh, to make it here, but, uh, this was, you know, a long, long time back. Oh, maybe, oh like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, here we sound, yeah. Like maybe a couple of years ago, uh, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we are maybe, uh, on the lookout for something like that. Maybe I also know a couple of other people who might be interested. I'll have to speak to them, but uh, yeah, would uh, would be interesting. All right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what, Miguel. If we can get this rolling along, I think we might want to make this some kind of uh, three-way leadership thing. I'd like to have you involved and my cousin involved as well. Be the three of us, kind of leading the pack, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, could do that. I mean, I I can't uh, can't lead too well. I mean, I don't know everything in the, in the language. And uh, yeah, hello there, sir. How are you? That's all right. That's all right. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, I try to help out. Uh, I'm I'm okay with uh, the rifle sometimes. You know, like a little bit uh, hit and miss, as they say. Yeah. But yep. Uh, you know, I can uh, I can kind of charm people a little bit also. Okay, okay. What the... Uh... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll play it by ear. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll play it by ear. I'll give you, uh, give you a ring as soon as yeah. something like that ends up coming to fruition. We can yeah. uh, talk about it moving forward. Yeah, sometime, uh, with the telegram, uh, I tried to use name Miguel. But, uh, you can maybe find me, uh, other way Okay, also. okay. I, to be honest, I ain't never written a telegram. I, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I don't uh, don't really know. The, the person in the telegram office, he he asked me what the name was. I was like, uh, Miguel. And he go, okay, yeah, I uh, make this for you. There is a lady also called uh, Tanis. She uh, she delivered the, uh, the telegram. She also a very uh, good person to know, I think, you know, can okay, help okay. communicate between people. So if you ever see a... Uh, She's quite uh, short. She have uh, glasses also. Um, she ride around yeah, on a quite short, so maybe she might. Uh, uh, maybe, I think she uh, a <laughs> little bit shorter than you, my friend. But yeah, she. Oh uh, really? Okay. Yeah, she She's have some the. Kind of, uh, what do they call them? Midget. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think uh, this this small. But uh, she uh, oh, okay, have, okay. have a white and um, uh, white horse with the uh, the black. Uh, the black dot all over. You can't miss her if you see her riding around. Oh yeah, that's know. one of them uh, American painters, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, could be. I'm not sure the exact breed. I should really know this because you know my history as a gaucho, but uh, I don't know exactly where that breed come from. All I know is you know yeah, like right. Turkoman, Arabian, thoroughbred, all that kind of thing. But yeah, no. Yeah, well, let American me ask you a question there, Miguel. Uh, what do you think the uh, the best horse around here is? Because I've been uh, uh, I've been looking, and my horses have been pissing me off lately. Well, I mean, the Steo here, Turkoman, uh, the Silver Turkoman, uh, he he can be pretty angry sometimes, but it's mainly because you know he uh, he have. Uh, a problem when people get too close to him or try to uh, yeah, pet him yeah. a little bit too much. But uh, Tell you what, all I'm looking for is something that. <coughs> you okay something there? That can you help need run a... a bear. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. You haven't got the cholera, have you? No, no. Uh, good, good. I was thinking, you know, right there, maybe uh, you want to no, be around been... in a few days. No, I haven't been drinking any water. <laughs> yeah, that's my problem. But I've been, uh, yeah. what the hell was I just saying? I forgot. Damn cough. I thought for a second we might have been instanced then because everything kind of <laughs> went a bit quiet. I forgot. Uh, not sure. We were talking about the uh, the white and black horse and uh, Tannis, the, the delivery lady. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. think maybe after that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. My memory is no, sometimes pretty bad, you know. Like, well, you know, a couple of times uh, you have to remind me or uh, your name also. So, yeah, Miguel, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, I saw you and I was talking to you and I, I thought you were someone else for a while for a minute. And then you said Miguel. I'm like, holy shit! All right. You uh, you see another person like me then, or like Gaucho from Argentina? I mean, you can't tell, obviously, yeah, from Argentina, another, uh, but... Yeah, there's a, there's a Mexican feller that kind of dresses just like you a little bit. A little bit taller than you, though. Uh, named Diego. Oh, really? Yeah, Diego's a good man, though. Really good man. I think you might like him, too. Okay, well, yeah, maybe I uh, keep uh, keep eye out for him also. You are what uh, what oh, yeah. what kind of uh, clothes he wear? Do, do he look uh, like... Last time I saw him, I mean, this was going on two and a half weeks ago, I think. He, he was wearing almost the same thing you were, except his uh, poncho, different color. I think it was black. I don't All remember right. if he was wearing a sombrero, though. Yeah, I think I uh, have not seen anybody with the uh, the sombrero like this one. The, the, the... Everybody say it look fancy, but, you know, I'm, I just take it from the guy who... Uh, I take yeah, it from the guy, him, actually. Yeah. I, I should probably tell you. I killed a man for this, but it was because he, he crossed me. And uh, okay. he, uh, he was not a good man, you know? Like, uh, he was trying to convince me maybe to, uh, to help him with a problem. He had... Uh, some banditos running around. It was when I was in Mexico, like I say, but uh, before I make the crossing from uh, Mexico to here. But he uh, he tried to lead me into a trap. And I kind of feel that you're know, something wrong, you know, sometime. And I was a bit like, this just don't feel right. This guy being a little bit too good to me, right? So I was uh, like, um, okay, maybe we uh, we have a little talk. And uh, basically, uh, he uh, he was going to try and rob me for my uh, for the last cows in my herd and uh, my horse, Trueno. She was my uh, she was my beautiful horse. I had to leave her in Mexico because she could not survive the uh, the trip across the river. Anyway, I'm getting away from uh, this the the topic here. It. Uh, I didn't want to kill him. Uh, I kind of had to. He put me in a situation. Well, I mean, at, at some point, it, yeah, at some point, it's either you or him, you know. Exactly, exactly like that. Um, and I get the shot off first, and he he lying there on the ground, you know, blood pouring, and uh, said to me, Miguel, you must take the uh, the hat, and I say, I don't want your stupid hat. He said, no, you must take it. It's my uh, my last link to my family. It's my heirloom. I have no children, no family left. I'd like you to take it with you and maybe give it to your children. You are, you are a true man. You handle your business the way you, real men handle their business. We believe, uh, we call it the Omerta. I think it come from Italy originally, but he... Uh, he say basically Isn't muerta mean something like death no 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 oh muerta oh yeah. oh muerta yeah that's like uh that's like the uh a bond between thieves uh similar yeah yeah basically yeah, it yeah. uh it's a uh the man who rely upon the law is either a fool or a coward the man who cannot take care of himself without that law is both a wounded man will say to his assailant if I live, 
I will kill you. If I die, you are forgiven. And this is the rule of honor. And yep, he, honor among thieves. He teach me the, uh, he teach me this. Um, and he take me under his wing for a long time. And then he tried to uh, cross me, as I say. So it come to the point where I have to uh, have to take his uh, life. And he said to me at the end, you know, you must take my hat and continue the way. Right, right. So uh, that is why I wear the hat. Ordinarily, my hat would be a little bit different to this. Not too dissimilar, but a uh, little bit more flat brim, not as high top. But uh, I don't find any hat here like that. Uh, maybe I find one one day, like uh, original Argentine gaucho, how we wear back home. But uh, yeah, hopefully you can do something like that. I mean, maybe you could uh, inquire from one of the uh, the tailors around town or something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I've been, I've been wearing the same damn coat, same hat. Oh, actually, I don't have a hat. I had one a long time ago, but I'm wearing the same damn clothes for the last, I don't know how long. It might be time for me to get a new style eventually. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, uh, maybe you speak to the, uh, what he called it, the, uh, the uh, ta Taylor? Taylor? Yeah, 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 Taylor. yeah that, that guy that go to Blackwater with the other, uh, the other brother, the, the Henderson. It, be honest, those uh, Anderson fellers kind of seemed a little. Uh, but let's just say, if you're gonna run a business, you're gonna act like that. Who's to say that your business is actually gonna be good? Yeah, well, you know, some or trustworthy, are, you know. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe not. It's hard to tell until but you truly you know. know somebody, you know. Yeah, true, true. But like I say, it's you know, I thought I knew, people, uh, like... I thought I knew this man in uh, in Mexico, you know, Pablo. But uh, yeah, yeah, he turned out to be a little bit different to how I thought. Man, yeah, I don't blame him. Like I said, I have a hard time trusting people too. There's very few around. So that he's actually called Pablo. Are trust we gotta worthy. remember that. Yeah, uh, you know, trust uh, and respect is always earned. I treat people with trust and respect from the moment I meet them until they give me a reason not to, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Miguel, were you, uh, were you traveling down with, uh, no, wait, no, you weren't traveling down that day. Actually, I think it might have been the same day. Do you remember the day of the election? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, I was going to, uh, the San Denis with, uh, it's one of the only time I actually go to San Denis, actually, with uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Choppins and uh, uh, Mickey, the Irishman, and um, I think Rogers Fields was there also. They with the deep, uh, deep. He have the deep voice. He a good yeah, time. yeah, yeah. So I was, uh, I was actually a little ways behind them. Met some other man. That's when actually I met my cousin. That's when oh, I met right. Clinton. Literally out of nowhere. I'm riding down. He comes out. I said, "Hey, you going down the for the election?" He goes, "Yeah, I'm looking for someone to travel with. You don't mind?" I said, "Yeah, that, that's fine." And as I'm listening to him talk now, obviously I, I lost my Boston accent a long time ago. But now and then you might hear it kick in. But I'd be listening to him talking, and, and I asked him what his name was. He goes, "Well, my name is Clinton Woods." I said, "Clinton Woods, huh?" So you're Woods. I said, "You." I said, oh, that's funny you say that. My name is Joseph Woods. He's like, oh, yeah, where you from? I said, well, my family is originally from Boston. Damn near fell off his horse at that point. Oh, right, yeah. He made yeah. The, uh, the connection right there. Yeah, and he's like, wait. He's like, you guys move out here like, I don't know, 25 years ago. Yeah, it's been about that long. He goes, uh, I've been looking for you and your parents for a long time. He goes, I heard the story of what happened. He goes, back home, we heard two different stories. We heard one that you killed them. We heard another that it was an accident. Someone went into the house and mugged your family. All right. I, I had to explain things to him a little bit, but... 
figured it out. So Clinton and I have been roaming around the last probably couple weeks, and uh, that's when we found out some of the information about that bank. We've been finding stuff about uh, working with that uh, that Deputy Steele as well, and quite a few other people. Oh, okay. So uh, Mr. Steele is not the uh, completely, uh, how you say? So here's the thing, right? Deputy Steele, although he... Uh, I mean, he, he likes to run his mouth, right? And a lot of people get scared because he seems to be like a... Seems to have a short short handle, right? Yeah, I, he, if it's the same man, really I think... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I think he, I know they won. Oh, yeah, very, very witty man. Uh, some people find him humorous. Other people find him to be some kind of asshole. Probably the man you're talking about. Yeah, uh, most likely. Yeah, it's a black man. Uh, I can't remember, actually, but yeah, you can Black man, jo big giant mustache. He uh, got a handlebar mustache on him. I can't remember, to be honest with you, but yeah, maybe he's a different okay. person, but maybe... Well, let me tell you something, not. right? I think, I think I have a way to bend in him to uh, kind of break the law a little bit. Now hear me out, listen to this. I found out through the grapevine that people have been trying to uh, get him away from the law. And that the other law men have been trying to actually, um, how do I say this? Either get him killed or get him removed from, uh, from practicing the law altogether. So my cousin and I, we've been uh, part of uh, Mr. Steele's so-called church. Right, right. And that's basically what's been going on. All oh, right, I see, I see. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, let uh, we can uh, talk about it and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh getting late anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beautiful night though. Look at uh, look at the stars up there. Yeah, no, it's it's actually quite amazing, actually. Yeah, it's beautiful right there. You know, it's one of the things about being out here in the wild. We might be close to the town. Well, no, we got all these lights over here, but all you need to go is good two hundred yards away and. I mean, you really can't get a better view. Yeah, yeah. It make you uh make you feel small, right? I mean, maybe maybe, yeah, it sure uh, does. maybe smaller than uh than normal. Yeah, it does. Not uh not trying to uh you uh, offend you, you know. Just uh how my friend uh, say he uh Mr. Chopins, he call it the banters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Miguel, I mean, think about this way. We are just so small. And those things up in the sky, them stars are actually mighty large compared to how we are. So no matter yeah. what happens in this world, doesn't matter if uh if something bad happens to us or someone else. It's the it's the small things in life, because we are the small things in life that really matter. But sometimes small things you gotta just let them go yeah yeah i know what you mean i think uh, i mean yeah i think I, you know what i mean yeah yeah sometimes i ramble on and on and uh don't even know half the shit i'm talking about anyway well oh, miguel yeah. i'm gonna go lay under the stars for a little bit and probably rest my head no problem, my friend. And uh, yeah, it's good to uh, good to catch up with you. Uh, also, it's nice to uh, be able to tell somebody else about. Yeah, it's uh, good to see you. Tell someone else about Pablo and uh, all of that uh, mess in Mexico. You know. Yeah. Sometimes you have to you, tell people. Between me and you, brother, I'll uh, I'll, I'll, you, uh, I'll hold on to that. You are the only other person to know about it, apart from uh, Mr. Black, Casper. He. Uh, he may be another person. Maybe you uh, you might want to have a a chat with if you 
if you meet him. He's an uh, English right, guy. sounds good. But uh, have a few hey, scar the... on his face. He's quite, uh, quite big and tall. the guy right there? Uh, no, no. Well, I don't think so. I can't see his face from here. But uh, this this guy uh, have quite a lot of scar on his face. Uh, how you say the, he don't he don't really have uh, the hair. It kind of like close to his uh, his head, really close to his head. You know. Yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, he uh, he may be the sort of person also who might uh, might be interested. I'm not sure. I, I still yet well, to I speak mean, to as him. Long uh, as, really, and, like and that's that. the thing too. Like Miguel, you gotta understand something. I mean, I want to do this. You know, to help, to help the boys. I wanna, I wanna do this to help other people that needed the help. I don't. I, I want to be able to, uh, to share that wealth and share that money with other people. I'm not. I'm not a greedy man. I, I never wrote. I never kind of grew up with money, so I never really had it. The more I have it, the more I want more. That's a bad thing. I don't like that. But I know if we work together as a team, we can get whatever the hell we want. Yeah. Well, I like I said, my I'll friend. I'll be in touch uh, with you. Yeah, it, uh, it, it. Interesting proposal for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, Miguel. I'll be seeing you, friend. Yeah, you take care of there, my friend. I'll uh, I'll see you soon, my friend. Don't uh. Don't, yeah, you uh, well. Yeah, don't stop for the wolves. And don't stop for nobody. Ride fast like the wind, right? Yeah, you as well. You take care, All Miguel. Right. You too. I think that's probably where we'll call it, guys. Seems like a good spot to stop. It's quarter past four as well here, so yeah, it's really it's really cracking on now. <laughs> but that was great fun. I was I was gonna call it, and then we ran into I think that was Jugs. I'm pretty sure it was at least anyway. Um, and somebody else I don't know who was playing his brother. Um. Yeah, seemed uh, seemed like uh, seemed like Just a good thing. Down by uh, uh, Strawberry at the, the, lo the logging camp, and um, I've been keep your mouth shut, all right? Just look, just watch. Really? Oh, uh, that's that's great. I'm there um in my, every morning when I wake up. Uh, I, uh, I chop wood or um. The, uh, the the general store in, in Strawberry and the general store here in uh, Valentine. And um, I was you know I was told by um, I was just by the the the, the natives in Big Valley that I my couldn't friend, chop I, uh, wood there anymore because um, have to go to bed, there's friend. a go do what you gotta. Uh, this is a secret wood uh, at that, yeah, it's at funny, that area. Yeah, he's giving a life story, you know. Well, uh, yeah, he get the bath. He get the yeah, bath. not to. Uh, He's bathed in a woman. Not finally. sure what it took him a while. Oh right, is it first time for him? You is think? It, is someone time. outside? Oh, quick run! Think our friend just ran off that way. Or well, not our friend. I know who he is. Yep. <laughs> right. On that note, <laughs> as we're about to call it and get called over and quickly uh, act as a peeping tom. Let's uh, let's go and log off. Um, maybe I'll go behind the church or something. Oh, there's some 
Sounds like someone upstairs having a cigarette. I don't see anyone in there, but yeah, I'll go log off behind the church. doesn't really matter I suppose actually let's just uh, let's just get out of sight of other people and uh, do a quick little one of these all right guys well as I say it's um it's definitely time for me to go to sleep it's 4 20 in the morning so um, now's as good a time as any but um Thank you all for stopping by, anyone that's popped in and anyone that's followed and so forth as well while I've been live. It's been uh, a bit difficult to keep up with chat at times. Um, and thanks Pixel Kasuni for, um, for dropping by earlier and uh, yeah, everyone that's dropped in since Doobie for the, for, um, Doobie for the host and um, Kuda as well. Thanks for dropping by buddy. I don't know if you're still there and um yeah heard any of that stuff with uh wild joe there but yeah it could be could be some interesting stuff afoot um potentially but yeah depends uh depends what we decide to do with it all but yeah it's been a good night so um on that note guys i will love you and leave you and hope that you have uh, an enjoyable day or night or morning or evening or whatever the fuck it is wherever you are <laughs> but take care out there and i'll um i'll see you in the next one all right